besties welcome back who's ready to game me i'm gonna play the sims today i'm actually really excited i've been waiting for this moment for a long time <laughs> i'm really excited to finally fix the save so it should be fun if you missed it by the way we're gonna try and fix the pots family save because you know we're like 10 and a half generations in everybody's dead all the lots are messed up like we need to we need to fix this. So <laughs> that's the plan for today, but it's good to see you all. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Uh, let's play some Sims, shall we? I'm opening the game right now so we can get started. Oh, I didn't fix my border. Dang it. Hang on. Can I, I fixed it. It must be like a different file location for the one that I used to record and the one that I used to stream because it was on when I recorded today. So what is up with that? Ignore that. Hang on. So why is it? Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> Neon and Joe and Amber. Thank you for the subs, by the way. That's so weird. I don't know. It's back. It's back. We fixed it. Everything's fine. How do you do a border? The border on my face cam is an image. <laughs> it's like a file, like a image file, a square that I stick on top of my face. So I made it in Photoshop. Uh, there, there's probably other ways, but that's how I made mine. <laughs> Pardon everybody, thank you for the prime subs too. Okay, so we're gonna play the Paws family. Um, I'm gonna literally delete like everybody, probably in a minute. Uh, it should be fun. So <laughs> Plancy with the 38 months as well. But yeah, we're gonna try and like revamp all of this. All of this needs needs updating, so. That is the plan. Twitch messed up the video? Uh-oh. How did it mess up the video? What did it do? Should I be concerned? Hmm. <laughs> Jesse, thank you for the 12 month resub too. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Ninja, thank you for the 14 months too. Um, everyone looks fine here. Oh, bestie. You, you've misunderstood. You might say it looks fine to you, or maybe, oh, 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 my camera. Oh my God, I, th I was like, my save is not fine. <laughs> maybe the stream is fine. You're probably meeting the stream. I was like, no, the save file is not fine. <laughs> the save file is a disaster, but you probably mean the stream. We're probably talking about different things. So that's a mistake. Anyway, the save is not fine. <laughs> Allie, thank you for the four months, by the way. Um, it should be fun. We're gonna like start off probably by deleting like everybody because you know how um I mean some of these are sims that you all made um but like you know these people were a family and then everyone died and now these guys were probably toddlers when we placed them and now they're like not made over um and there's lots of random like generated sims I'd, I'd prefer to not have like single sims like I'd rather have if they're because these sims are like moving in places I don't want to have like you living in a house alone in Strangerville I'd rather place like a family that someone made so that we can get you know some more people around um that's kind of my thought process why Agnes the glitch where it generates more than one crumple bottom is very weird <laughs> why does it do that anyway um Anyway, <laughs> Rogue, thank you for the sub gifts, and Kai, and, and Zarini, and Lexi, and Sophia, and Crispy, and Kayla. <gasps> I love your name. It's a pretty one. I'm not, like, biased or anything, though. Anyway, Never Ending, and Bean, and Sims, and stuff, and Allie, <laughs> Shy Gamer, and Avocado, and Neighbor Dan. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Oh, boy. Anyway, the joke is that, um, my name is Kayla. If you're new, that was the meme. I assume most of you knew that, though. The vast majority probably knew that. Anyway, <laughs> Frog, thank you for the 16 months, and Miss Morris, and Mort Mortain, and Erico, the tier 3, 37 months, and Diana, and Vulpix, and Foley, and Lisa, and Ironic Flower, and HK, and Angelise. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, your, name, your first name isn't Lil? I'm shocked. It could be. Lily is a pretty name. I always liked that name. So, just, you know, flowers are nice. Anyway, your name is Lily. Nice! <laughs> See? <laughs> Flowers and Jamie and Lauren, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, 
jaundice and cornbread and let's build houses hello uh and mission Cammy and kirsty and tall glass of lotion and dandy and tegan oh my goodness 1500 bits tegan and dandy with the 42 months also let's build houses i just watched a tiktok that you made um where you were joking about um forgetting the mailbox and it spawning in your kitchen and it made me giggle hit a little close to home so <laughs> i was sitting here before i went live on my phone watching tiktoks and that one popped up um, but anyway, Kira and Mystical and Snowy and Mai and, uh, me maybe, oh no, Spirit, Kira, what did I say? Queen and Serena and Dandy and X, I don't know, thank you all so much. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try and delete a bunch of things in this world. Um, I don't know where to start. I think I'll probably start with just deleting a lot of the Sims, like a lot of the... Are you good? Oh no, there's a toddler by himself. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's not good. He's just independent. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just independent. He's just independent. It's fine. <laughs> that's actually quite concerning. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna have to, um... Honestly, he can stay. I might leave him. I'll mark, I'll mark him as a favorite. Wait. Come back into my households. I don't think I need any of these people. Yeah, we can, we'll just delete a lot of these sims, though. Where does he live? In San Myshuno, apparently. I might go look for him. Are you good? That's a child by himself! Oh no, there's another one! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. The way his last name is Oh No, as I literally just said that. That's actually really funny. Anyway, um, the kid lives in an apartment by himself. The toddler lives in this giant apartment all by himself. Oh, <laughs> that is not good. That is not good at all. Maybe, maybe I'll make him some parents. Should I start with that? Will it let me or is it going to glitch? Oh, Anaya, little one, my dear, you cannot be living by yourself, friend. You need to have a parent here with you. <laughs> Wait, I should play with genetics instead. Crazy Cricket, thank you for the five gifted subs. Laya with the ten gifted subs. Jazzy Jen with the ten gifted subs. What the heck? Thank you all so much. Um, Alexis and Mickey and Brittany and Sandra and just a good bean and theater and uh, and Shifa and Spirit and Ariel and Runa and Kaylin and Spell and Manya and Lish and Lime and Katie and Bailey and Ladybird and Kit Kat and oh my goodness I'm sorry if I missed anything Mixie and Trish and Juliana and Kimmy and Curtin thank you so much okay well I'll just make her I mean I probably won't spend a significant amount of time doing this but um if we just make it so that she has a small family. Honestly, um, your mom looks cute like this. We can keep it. But this way, as long as, like, somebody lives here. And the kid isn't, you know, completely by themselves. That would be good. Um, anyway, if you missed it, we were just, uh, looking at the saves. And apparently this toddler lived by itself in San Mishuno. <laughs> And so we were like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should make sure this toddler is not completely alone. Perhaps I should ensure that it's it's not uh, living in a house by itself. That does not seem like it's a good idea. So we're just gonna, you know, <laughs> make somebody. <laughs> LG and Avocado and Zebra and Emma and Grim and Candy and Luna and Lynx and Milo and Kira and M and, uh, and F and Aerie with the sub gifts and Zorm with the 10 gifted subs. Oh my goodness. Mixie the 10 gifted subs. Trish with the sub gift. What's going on? Thank you all so much. You know what? Maybe I'll just delete her. No, I won't do it yet. I won't do it. I'm sorry. I won't do it yet. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to it. <laughs> Let and Zorm and Spence and NC Stone and Mater and Berkeley and Moni and, and Drenny, thank you for the subs. I will start deleting people, though. Like, this ghost does not need to live here. These people? No. All these random, like, small households, one, two sims, I want to replace them with, um, like, I don't want to have one sim households. I'd rather replace sims that you all have made, so I'm going to remove a lot of these people. Baby Ariel can stay, obviously. Um, I don't know. 
D the ghost lives in a house? Like, I don't want that. Stop. No ghosts taking up houses. Like, why would I- why would I allow you to do that? Um, I just- I would rather have the houses be filled by, like, actual sim families with people that my- that you guys have made, you know? Um, yeah, the dog ghost- I think that's always there, though. I'm pretty sure the dog ghost is always there. Oh! You have a very large family! <laughs> Are you good? Shampoo and Blonde Jenny and Seed Spirit and Daddy and Dav- uh, Davulus and Mag and Nikki and Barry! Uh, Brooklyn, Jess, thank you for the subs. Retsu with the five gifted subs, thank you so much. And River with the five months too, thank you everybody. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Adopt a ghost dog? I already have so many ghost dogs. Okay, these people can stay because they're, um, like the townies in Tartosa. So are you. I don't want you to live in a house, that's the thing. If they're not in the world, it's fine, but I don't want them to, like, take up a house. Um, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of all of them, to be honest. All these random one sim generated people. Okay. See, this kid lives alone too. That's concerning. <laughs> His whole family must have died. <laughs> Trash Panda, Jillian, OG, and Lauren, and Meg, and, uh, and Pop and Super Ellie, and Danny, and Laser Shark, and Digital, and Cassandra, and River, and Barry. Thank you all so much. Okay. Move them all into one big house? I mean, I could. But, like I said, I, I've been asking people to make sims to place in the world for the past couple days, so, um, I'd rather place your sims than random generated townies. <laughs> um, I hate to say it, no offense EA, but I'd rather have your sims than the random townies besties. <laughs> Is Twitch messing up? Uh-oh. On your end, Christine? Oh, you've got two dogs! Sorry! Sorry. Lots of babies being generated, though, which is pretty fun. Um, glad to see that. Cold-blooded? What, me for deleting the babies? I know, I'm sorry. I'm- I'm really, uh, being a bit ruthless at the moment. And for that, I apologize. You don't have sub badges? Oh, is that what's happening? The sub badges are glitching? That's weird. We're almost done getting rid of these people, so. Okay, you can stay, but I would like you to not live in a house. Because he's one of the- Random townies. Also, some of these people, like the Lawrence I was gonna let stay, these people are related to some people that I know. Like, this- this family is related to, um, to me. That's like a cousin of my Sims. So, I don't know you, though. I don't think I know you. I don't think I know them. But they can stay. And I don't think I know these people either. But I know that Sim is my cousin. So. Um. Delete baby Ariel? Maybe. <laughs> Katie and Ash and Starry Knight and Meg and Jude and Alice and Spirit and uh, Camellia. Thank you all for those subs and stuff too. Um, okay. Well, we've deleted almost everybody. So the, the world is like basically completely empty. So <laughs> that now leaves us with the opportunity to replace everyone. Um, other problem is that a lot of the world is gonna have empty lots. So, I don't know if it'll show them as being empty when I look at them from build mode, but a lot of the lots are empty empty. Um, so for example, when the last of the goth family completely died out, um, they took all their furniture with them, and the house, yeah, as you can see, became empty. So there's a lot of lots like this. This happens always when the last sim in a family dies, all the furniture goes away. So a lot of the houses in the world are empty, um, and I kind of wanted to try and replace them, just so that they wouldn't be, like, empty anymore. <laughs> um, I don't know if Ophelia Villa is in your library by default. It is. We can just replace the goth house original one again. Um, and that way we can get it back so it's not empty anymore. We'll probably put a different family in here, but, um, that way it's not empty. Because that's so annoying. <laughs> um, no, deleting the household won't make them empty, no. When you evict them, it won't make them empty either. It's just when they die off on their own. Literally when the households die off. Like, this one's empty too, 33k. Um, they still live there, so this house might not be empty. But yeah, it's really annoying how they empty. <laughs> Um, I could put a- my version of the goth house? I don't want to put too many of my renovated versions of the houses I'm not gonna visit. I don't really intend to go here. I'd rather place renovated versions of lots that I'm actually gonna go to, because I don't want it to make the game too laggy. Um, 
so I'm gonna place like renovated community lots more so than renovated like goth houses. I don't really care about the goth house that much. Um, I say that with love, but I really don't care about the goth house that much. <laughs> so um, our neighborhood is kind of updated. So I don't, maybe I won't put anything down there, but we can get some more. Did I see your tip on the empty houses? If I go a place, is it that I'll, if I place around my own, it'll fix it? If I go to manage worlds and place a single new item, fixes the glitch. Yeah, I've heard about that, Christine. I just haven't done it myself. Um, I probably should though, because that would be really useful to have them not delete, but one step at a time, one step at a time. The goth house looks so out of place. What, but it's, it's classic, it's iconic. What do you mean out of place? Be nice. Maybe I'll put my own Sims in. Should I put these people in? That could be fun. It's slightly outdated, but we could place them down. They can live in the goth house. <laughs> I'll place my own Bell family first and they can be in the goth house. That'll be nice. Okay. Welcome, my dears. I hope you like it here. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> when the worlds collide, Grunkle and Aloe and Purple and Tempest and Aura and Eva and Kelowna and Kieran and Beloved and Fallen and Trashy and Sage and Morgan, Tori with the 29 months and Wild and Missy Ellie with the 23 months and Ash and Nino and Katie and Starry. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Okay. Name a more ambitious crossover. All right. Well, I'm going to place um, some community lots down. I think that's my step one. Let's get some of my community lots. Like, I made a new library at some point, surely. Okay. <laughs> I know I have a renovated version of the library. If the game would just give it to me. Why does the gallery have to be like this? Besties. Besties. I'm getting really annoyed. I'm getting really annoyed. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm really glad that it's not loading my stuff, though. I'm really glad. <laughs> That the gallery is like this. Uh, there won't be a CC filter, Jay, no, but I'm trying to see if it loads now. <laughs> Isabella and Lollipop and Queso and Ava and Obsidian and Siren, thank you all for the subs. Okay, well, I probably posted it on the gallery, so I might be able to find it this way. Um, Check my library, maybe? Oh, no, I built it years ago, Indigo. It won't be my library anymore. I've got a different PC since then. I didn't save it. Um, the library is just things that you've saved to your library on your computer. So that's, like, local files on your PC, the library. The gallery is things that you've uploaded. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> There's my Willow Creek archive fix. Um, thank you very much. Got it. <laughs> Nancy and Tessa and everybody, thank you for the subs and bits and stuff too. Was this from 2017? Yikes. This is the version that's in the Simsy save then. Um, we'll have to load it in though. Come on. Willow Creek Archive. Don't name it Fix. Okay, cool. That's the Simsy save version. So that that is more appropriate for me. I will be happier with that. That is good. We're gonna be here all day. This is gonna take me so long. I hope you're prepared. <laughs> I hope you're ready for this because we're gonna be here like all day. <laughs> um, movers and shakers. Let's grab it. It's kind of fun though. I kind of like um, doing this. No, I'm not making Willow Creek save file. I'm updating my legacy save file actually. Um, I've been playing in the same save file for like 10 generations. So like all the Sims are dead. A lot of the houses are empty because when they die off, they like take their furniture with them. So I'm gonna replace a lot of stuff um, to hopefully make the world a little bit less sad. But that's what we're doing today. Um, 
this is a private thing. This is a personal save file. <laughs> I'm just updating the save I've been playing in this whole time, so. Um, maybe I'll change it, so. Pot's family save. So that people don't get confused. Yeah, that'll be useful, thank you. Let's just get some basic renovations I've done of these. Yeah, it's so much work to update them and everybody just dies. It's like so annoying, <laughs> but it'll be fine. Um, Nut and Ginger and Play With and Bookish and Bard and Kayla and Hansley, thank you for the subs. Um, the Blue Velvet. Thank you. Little Simsy's version. This is my 2017 version. I've done a more recent one, but I might place a 2017 version. No, well, maybe I won't. I like the newer one better. Let me look at my actual gallery. I am going to keep my graves in the front yard. Yes, Bestie. I The graves in my front yard are my favorite part. So, I won't be getting rid of that. Oh. Filtered by library. Please! It was the third one? What was it up there? Oh, it's right there. I didn't realize it was right there. This is 2020, so that's better. Thank you. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> that is my bad. I didn't realize it was there. Um, I was too busy distracted by the first one. I didn't look at the rest of the page. Um, am I staying on the same lot? No, not the whole time, Blue Wells. I'll move around a little bit more. Um, I'll move around a little bit more, probably. So... Not so very kind of forces you to move around a little bit. Part of the rules and some of the challenges tell you to move, so um, I probably will. Looking good, okay. Don't call it the blue velvet reno though. Just call it the blue velvet. Um, will I celebrate when I reach 100 graves? Maybe. <laughs> Reads a lot in wilderness and Hannah and Cassie and Jenny. Thank you all for the subs, by the way. Um, Okay, I can change the word fix out of this, too. I don't know if I have a museum one. Municipal, municipal muses. I know I did one recently, but I didn't change the inside. Um, so I might have to look and see in my own. Unless I want to put something completely different. It's hard to say. Hmm. Oh. oh. I hate the gallery. This is gonna be a nightmare. Sarah and Drew and Ginny, thank you for the subs. Mine was the fish one. What on the on the most popular? Well, is that the more recent one though? This is the wedding one that I did recently. That's the one that I wasn't sure if I wanted to use or not. Um. This has a wedding venue set up outside, but I don't know if I want it to be that. I might place, like, someone else's renovation of it. I don't want to get, like, a super fancy lot. Um, I kind of like the idea of a renovated version of the main one. Um, when is she doing hashtag look Lil Simsy? Bestie, we're going to go back and forth between lots and um, houses the whole stream. I will say this right now. If you are going to be really upset with me if I don't download your Sims... <laughs> I say this with love, but maybe don't watch the stream. Because I there are a lot more people here <laughs> than Sims I need, okay? Again, I say it with love, but I'm just gonna get some random ones, okay? Um, and so, uh, if you are gonna be really upset if I don't download yours, I, I don't want you to be. So so try and re rethink your mindset there, okay? Because um, we're, we're gonna just download some random ones. The gallery is a mess, like it's hard to even find things on it. Um, so, uh, like, will I even see yours? Maybe not, because the gallery might just not show it to me. <laughs> um, but I'm just, I, I say this with love, but I don't want anyone to be upset, okay? Um, if you're gonna be upset, I don't want that to happen. Please don't take it personally. Um, okay, I'm gonna just place this one down for now. This is a way fancier lot, though. But that's okay, it might be fun to have. Or should I get a more plain one? Now it looks weird compared to all the fancies. Or the, now this one's fancy compared to all my unfancies, but whatever. We can use it for now. Um, and then... 
I already placed this. Um, use look little simsy for your own saves. I know a lot of people do. A lot of people use my hashtag look little simsy for their own save files when they're looking for um, sims to place down and stuff. I know a lot of people use that hashtag. Um, it's hashtag look little simsy. Um, is the one that we're gonna look at for Sims in a second. But I know a lot of you do that too, to get some random ones to fill up your save file with. It's a useful thing to have, it's a good resource. Um, there's, you just, there's a lot of options, you know? There's so many Sims on there, so we can use it and just fill it up. Um, going on dates and selling prizes you get for completion for Stanley, that could be fun, that could be a fun idea. Um, also, starring Red Cat and Ray and Tizzy and Legend and Drew and everybody, thank you so much for the subs. Um, the idea they said was uh, to do a rags to riches, but do like going on dates and then use the prizes that you get to sell and then um, place those down or sell them, I mean, so that you can get money. You get like 300 simoleons from the little bucket, um, which is interesting. <laughs> I mean, you can do it with all parties, right? Okay, well, I'm placing this, own, this house back. This is one that I already placed uh, that was already there, but it got emptied. Um, it got emptied because <laughs> the sims that were in it died, so I'm placing it again. I'm placing it again, um, so that way it'll be full again. And then I guess if I just place one item, that should make it so that it doesn't delete everything again, right? Cool. No, Archie, I haven't started yet. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to get builds and sims. We're gonna go back and forth between builds and sims all stream, because I've gotta do like lots of worlds, okay? Um, so we're, we're not done, we've barely started. <laughs> I've literally barely started, I haven't placed any sims yet. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, we're gonna get there. Just, just chill, all right? No one, no one gets angry at Lil' Simsy. No one gets upset if I don't see their Sims. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna do it together and we're gonna have fun. Okay, I'm looking through, this is the one that I had placed there. Um, I will place it down again, so that way it's not empty. When did I last update it? The save file? I mean, I've done it like, periodically. I mean, I've been playing with the save for like 10 generations and I've, I've done it sort of periodically over the course of this whole time, but Today I want to try and do like a major revamp, you know? Like my goal is to to majorly revamp the save and, and fix a lot of the lots that are messed up and like, cause you know, the houses are empty cause the Sims died and, and all of that stuff. Um, Hillside Manor, I don't know, I'm changing the lot cause Family Mansion is boring. That'll be fine. We can play some Sims in those. Um, that'll be good. All the worlds were to your PC? Well, not all of them, maybe not Bunny, but, um, like, Willow Creek has been playing in it a lot, and, um, I don't know, a lot of the other ones. See, all of the houses are gonna be empty. <laughs> They're all empty. This one's 5,000 simoleons because it deleted it. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Okay, well, I might genuinely replace, like, with back with the EA starter homes again. It's, it's, it's the best we can do, just so that it won't be empty anymore. <sighs> What's that painting on my gallery? Oh, that's a picture of Stanley Humphrey graduating college. Cool. I'll get another light so that it won't delete everything. Cool. Uh, it's not a glitch. I think it just happened, Cindy. <laughs> um, I think that might be by design, but when the sims die, when the last sim in a household dies out, they, uh, take all of their furniture with them. And it all goes away. Which is very annoying. Very annoying. Do I ever raid Dan's streams? Like, raid him when I get off stream? Well, Spice, the problem is Dan and I stream at the same time most of the time, so it's hard for us to raid each other when we're live at the exact same time. <laughs> but I do raid him a lot, and I used to a lot more when we did stream at the same time, but um, now that we're live at the same time, it's harder to raid each other, obviously, because you're both on at the same time. I raided him last week during a subathon, though, because he streamed longer than I did, you know? One of those things. 
I don't know, Fez. I don't think people realize that when they spam and ask you to raid someone that it, like, <laughs> it kind of, um, I think it comes across in a way that I don't think they expect. <laughs> like, when you spam asking to raid someone, what you're kind of saying is, like, get off stream. You know? Um, even if you don't mean it that way, <laughs> that's kind of what, what you're saying. Um, so, sometimes it, um, hurts your feelings, <laughs> so, <laughs> just keep that in mind. Um, but, I, I'm like, I've been live for 30 minutes, and then people are like, great so-and-so! Okay, well, <laughs> I just got here. Robin, Kira, Alyssa, Tessa, Kara Barrett, thank you for the subs. Okay, I'm gonna look at starter homes really fast. Um... 30 by 20 lots. Anyway, that don't mean any harm. But don't spam like that, though. It's one thing to ask once. It's another thing to, to ask about 15 times, which happens. <laughs> I have so many random builds that were, like, so specific for... Like, look at this. I made an outdated house on purpose. Why? It's ugly, but literally on purpose. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, yeah, Snowy, I use the free real estate sheet to place families, because uh, the families don't have, like, 200,000 simoleons to buy the houses that I've placed, so I use the free real estate sheet to do that. Um, I'm gonna place this one... Fund zero, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna place this one right here, because it's the same, and this way it will refurnish it. <laughs> I like it. Sims fan, um, there's probably a glitch on Twitch right now for sub badges disappearing. I don't know what happened. Blame it on Twitch, though. Twitch is weird sometimes. Um. I hate having to replace lots. It's so annoying. It takes so long. I almost wish I could re- I kind of want to, like, get, um, that lot, because only those two were on the gallery, like, in my library. Do you know what this one is normally called, the 30 by 20 lot there? Like, you know, this one's called Garden Essence. Do you know what this one is normally called? Because I'll- I would place down the basic one. Just to get the regular house back, because I don't- I'm- it's easier. Daisy Hubble, there you go. That's the right one. Maybe I'll look. Do you think anyone uploaded just the plain house? <laughs> Completely untouched? Because that would be nice. <laughs> um, probably not. Maybe someone uploaded it, like, newest. Like, some random person just re-uploaded it recently. Thank you very much! <laughs> yes, you did! Um, that's right, right? No, this one wasn't in my library, I checked. I thought that the other two were, and that one wasn't. If it would load. If it would load. I ruined it. I ruined it. I ruined it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the gallery. Okay. Well, now I have to look again. This one has an extension. Yeah, we can save soon. That's a good idea, Christine. <laughs> so, Zoe, there's lots of renos that are really good. Like, Silicy has loads of ones. I've renovated this house a million times. I'm, I'm purposefully not getting a renovated version. I think it's important to note, besties, that we're playing in a save that's been around for literally 10 generations, and it's already laggy. So I am intentionally trying to put some, like, worse houses, like EA builds, back in. Um, of houses that I won't really go to very often, because I don't want it to be as, as bad. I realize there are a lot of really good runouts in the gallery. <laughs> um, why? They're all remodels! I want the basic one! Hello? I had it, and then I lost it, because the gallery stopped working. This is terrible. There we go. That was it. 
That was it. Worse houses like EA builds. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Why not move most recent generation house to a fresh save? Bestie, because I've got 10 generations in my family tree. Why would I want to lose that? Um, I like playing in this save. <laughs> I don't want to lose, like, I've got 10 generations in my family tree. I have absolutely no interest in losing that. Um, I, I really don't care to move to a fresh save for that. That's, that's not the point for me. Um, the save is the most important part. Catherine, piece of cake, Courtney, Julie, Froggy, Eli, and Kimba, and Jess, and Gren, and Victor, and Pi, and Elvin, and Robin, and Kira, and Alyssa, and Tessa, and Carebert. Thank you all for the subs. Okay, save game. Um, I'll get Garden Essence, too. And then we should be good to start replacing the families. Um, has anyone here just uploaded the plain house? It looks like most of you have not. Yeah, when you post things to the gallery, your family tree doesn't save it. Exactly, it only saves in the save, so. Um, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm gonna do Sims now, and we can come back to the builds. <laughs> All right, let's get some random sim, shall we? All right, um, so I'm just gonna do a lot of scrolling. Um, we can, I'm gonna start by scrolling, scrolling, scrolling for a while to like probably yesterday. Um, and then we can play some of these people that you all have made. How about these ones? They've got a dog. Oh, its name is Biscuit. Oh my goodness. All right, let's place the Lacey family. You can come to, honestly, you wanna live up here in this mansion? Here you go, my dears. Take it. And I'll, I might change the name just to be Lacey. Cool. First Sims. Um, no, so 60, I didn't remove the original families in the save. The original families in the save all died. <laughs> um, all of the original Sims have, have died off uh, and are no longer here with us. So, oh, I didn't replace these yet. That's so annoying. You can live up here. Um, so all the original ones are dead, and I, I deleted all of the ones that auto-filled. So you know how, like, a bunch of random sims, like, single, like, one-person households fill, um, and then, and then place in the world? I deleted all of those, because I, I didn't want to have them in my game. Um, I would rather place, like, proper sims, like, with proper families that are more fun. Um, because then, like, everyone's actually dressed better, and, um, we get some, like, more real households <laughs> with like backstories and stuff, you know? Um, but that's, that's the idea. Oh, these ones have two cats. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're coming, oh, is that one a dog? It might've been a dog and a cat. That looks like a dog, yeah, my bad. Okay, but see, we'll get some more this way. It'll be more fun. Uh, I'm not starting a new save. No, Nashi, I'm updating my personal save that I've been playing in for 10 generations. <laughs> I'm updating my personal save to have uh, some more sims and uh, some better lots and stuff because everyone has died off. So I'm trying to fix it up a little bit, you know? Um, okay, we got those. Do you know what? I kind of want my, my version of the museum. I want it to match. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I, it's not redone, but I can always go back and redo, redo it later. Where did it go? I just did it. Why? There we go. I will place this down. I will place this down. Uh, Camilla and Jillian and Trinity and Jacqueline and Amal and Allie and Little Dika and Zoe and Tilly. Thank you all so much. Um, this is the pot save. Yeah, like this is the pot save. The one that I've been playing on Twitch. So if you've seen any thing that I've played on Twitch, it'll be this. Simsy, why is the console Sims 4 so broken after the wedding pack and EA is doing nothing to fix it? Bestie, do I look like 143 build items removed? What do you mean? You are literally lying. Um, Bestie, I say this with love. Do I look like EA? Do you think I have any idea why they've, why they've neglected console? <laughs> I wish I could answer that question for you. But it's not just console wedding pack that's broken. <laughs> and also, I'm not them, nor do I have direct contact with them about that. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> 
Again, I say this with love, but so many people try and blame me for <laughs> things that are wrong with EA stuff and I didn't do anything. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about that. All right, they can come over here. Free real estate on this one. Anyway, if I knew, I'd tell you, but I'm not them. So, I'm so sorry. Ooh, no. They are no longer romantically involved, but they still live together. That's cool. Um, I'll change the last name to, to match their household so I don't get confused. That's fun. I like that storyline. Um, I might evict you, my dear, because I don't want you to take up a house. I might evict my ghosts, too, so they don't take up a house anymore, either. Um, no, you're fine, Muzi. Don't worry. <laughs> I just, a lot of people do blame me. You should see the kind of emails I get. People literally think I'm EA sometimes. <laughs> they think that I work for them. They think that I am them. I just play the Sims in my room. Sometimes, sometimes they give me info early, but not nearly as often as you might think. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to look for a 20 by 15 lot to replace this one. Um... This would be a cute one. And I might just change the lot name to be called Riverwalk. It's next to that. There you go. That way there's some more normal houses. I think that one is not empty, so we should be okay. Um, anyway. We'll see. Will I upload this save? So, no. <laughs> this save is just, um... Riverview. This save is just my personal save file. Um, one that I've just been playing in. Um, River Front. This is literally a save file that I've been playing in for 10 generations with my own personal sims. <laughs> it's not like a save file that I'm making to upload. I'm literally doing this specifically because I want to get uh, my, my personal gameplay to have more stuff going on in it. Um, that is my, my only intention with this. It is literally just for me. <laughs> uh, but that's because I've been playing with it for so long that like everyone is dead. A lot of the, I typed that wrong. A lot of the Sims are um, ruined. I'm not like making a save file for you to play in. Different kind of save. Literally just my save that I, I play in. You know? Um, how about... I want a bigger family this time. You're a don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, Moon Love, thank you for the gifted subs and Watered Down and CJ and Sean and Yellow and Tara and Moon Love and Spooky and Claire and Camilla and Jillian. Thank you for the subs. Oh no. How much longer do you think you'll do YouTube for? Oh good God, are you asking when I'm gonna quit? Bestie, I don't have an answer to that question. <laughs> Oh, I don't like the Q&A today. <laughs> now I'm getting stressed. Um, this is a giant family. Probably too many sims to fit in that house, but... Oh, I could put them in one of the bigger ones. That could be okay. Alright. How about... I'm just grabbing random ones, I'm sorry. These two, I want one that has teens, but maybe I'll place these. They aren't all gonna live only in Willow Creek. We're just doing Willow Creek first, obviously, so we'll be able to update this. Honestly, I might evict these people and place some new ones. Those are like Sims that have, they, they used to be a family like one of these, but now they're all old and mostly dead, so we can place some of these people. Nice, okay. We're doing all right. We've got a lot of households placed. Um, our neighbors are mostly fixed except for this one, but I haven't placed a lot there yet. Um, maybe one that has some teens would be good. Do you have any teens? Maybe, I like this one. You could be good. Okay. There we go. You saw yours? Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so those, this Willow Creek is mostly good now. 
Um, we've got a lot of random sims. I'm gonna mark these as other households, though. Um, I don't want them to be filling up my thing. And then we should be good to go. Yeah, we've placed loads of sims now. That's really good. And then I'll save again, yeah. <laughs> one step at a time. I'll leave this one here for a sec. Um, that's one of my sims. That's one of my sims. He is gonna mark as unplayed. Alright. That'll be good. Nice! Yeah, this last house is unfurnished. I know it is. Don't worry, gamer. <laughs> I just couldn't find it to replace it already. Um, JD and Jody and Yellow, thank you for the subs. Yeah, I put my Belle family in, yeah. Do you think she'll die tragically in this one, too? Because that would be funny. I mean, not for her, but for me. Yeah, there's a toddler by itself. I don't know how or why that has happened, but it has. <sighs> so. Here we are. <laughs> Alright, lot size 40 by 30. Uh, any Maxis ones? No. Peppy Puppy Play Park. We can place that down in the other, and we can place that in another spot, though. Um, you got a 40 by 30 that you built, Simsy, by any chance? That doesn't seem too big? Uh, I've got a public pool, but I don't really want to place that. I've got a bunch of mansions. I don't really want to place those. I'm mostly just wanting, like, a little house. Literally, a, a little house would be so nice. Yeah, the puppy park's a good idea because Sims can all adopt, adopt pets now. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, you know what? I'm gonna revisit this. I don't care about this. Place descendants of the Goths and pancakes? We could! I, um, I filled in the Goths house with my Sims already. <laughs> Um, I don't know if anybody's made any direct descendants of those people, but if you have, maybe we can look into getting some of them. Um, let me go look in Brindleton Bay next. I have a puppy park already. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't have any Sims living out here. We do have probably a lot of empty houses. But that's okay. Um, you made some goth descendants? Oh, okay. Um, maybe if my mods could, like, take note of that, we could see. Oh, these guys are cute! I like your dog! Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll back a lot farther, see what we can get. Um, you're all cute! Your last name is- okay, I'll- I'll place you all, you can come in. Oh, got a free real estate on again. Thank you. I might not even come to their houses, so. <laughs> what are mods taking note of? Oh, I was gonna see if you could find someone who, um, has made descendants of the goths. And then maybe I'll place them down. Oh, you look cute! Okay, you can come in. You can live. How come you get the mansion? No, that's not happening. That simply won't do. <laughs> You don't- you, random sim, do not get to keep that mansion. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Absolutely not. We gotta get a, a household that has, like, eight sims for this. That'll be good. And we'll put them in the mansion. Um... I don't know who. There's too many options. <gasps> They've got a poodle! Oh. I might scroll away from it when it loads, though. Suggestions, scroll and rolling pick sims. What do you think I'm doing, bunny? <laughs> the porters. Okay. Mansion and poodle. Yeah, Alex Moyer is immortal. And and they've taken over the mansion in this save now. Which is uncool. Alright. What do we got? Maybe if we could get like Oh look at the berry sims, that's fun. I want another big family to put in the other one, but maybe with a pet. Look, they've got a tiny dog. Hmm. This will be my not so berry save, yeah, but this is this is actually the Potts family save. The one that I've been playing in for ten generations. Alex Moyer is a tutorial sim. That's why she's immortal. Um Sarah and Hellgath and Becca and Janie. 
Thank you so much. All right, you can do. They've got twins. We've got grandma. That could work. I don't know. Place that in. Cool. Um. That is a significant number of pets. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should place that. Is that like too much? Imagine like they keep adopting pets. <laughs> yeah, the crumble bottoms are also immortal. The crumble bottoms are also immortal. I probably should focus more on Sims though and households that have space for Sims. I love them though, but we need some households that have Sims so that we can like have people to date. I like these people, these are cute. Those are your Sims, Haley? Oh, no way, that's fun. How many pets is too many pets? No amount of pets is too many pets, in my opinion. All right, I'm gonna get a lot. Um, oh, you saw your Sims, they weren't those ones. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Um, size 40 by 30. Can I pull a mod power card? Do you want me to place your Sims, Christine? Um, where do you want them to live? I'll place them. <laughs> I'm not, well, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'll place them. Just let me know where they should go. Mean lesbian grandmas. I can put, I can put them down, Christine. <laughs> we love some grandmas here. Why do I not have the house that I'm looking for? I am specifically looking for a house for Brindleton Bay. But yeah, I can play some Christine. We'll get those next. <laughs> oh, did I? K Simon says your Porter family. Nice. That's cool. I'm I'm glad I picked yours. Cape Cod Mansion is a Simsy build that's gonna replace the Tails End lot. Am I gonna fill Newcrest? I've placed a lot of lots in there already, Fod, but I'm gonna finish it, yeah. Brindleton Bay came with cats and dogs, Elisa. Um, Breezy, moving in these Sims does not fix your save when it comes to lag at all. <laughs> moving in Sims just gives you new Sims to be friends with after all the old ones have died off. Because you know how you get a bunch of random Sims that don't have proper families and don't have real houses and stuff that the game just generates? Um, the reason I'm doing this is not to, like, fix lag. I'm doing this so I have new Sims in the, in the save. Um, there's not, like, a right answer to this either, girl. Like, there's not, like, how many lots do I have to replace. It's just how many I feel like replacing, you know? Um, th this literally is, is just whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> we can throw in some new households and stuff in there, you know? Um, that's kind of the idea. But there's not, like, a right or wrong to this. It's just, yeah, if you wanted to do it, you literally, you're just placing new stuff in your save. Like, <laughs> it's not like, there's not, like, a right answer. It's just, you know, if you want to put some new lots, put some new lots. Um, okay, I wanted to get a small household with, honestly, these two could be good. Small family could be nice to add in. And they can live here in this house. It's a little bit smaller. Um... I like them. I like their toddler. I just want to get a bunch of sims of different ages, you know? Because then we'll have more people that are around the age of my sims for us to date. Alright, I'm gonna get Miv, she's still oblivious. What, to Miv? No, I've seen Miv asking me to place Miv himself. <sighs> no, <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> Okay, this family is the- oh, the Shelby family! I like it, and it's big. That'll be good for over here. These are Christine's Sims. I'll change the name to Shelby so I don't get confused. After the untimely death of the parents, the Shelby kids were sent to live with their grandmothers on their farm. Oh, that's not Henford on Bagley. Just cut that out. <laughs> nope. There, there's nothing to do with farms in Henford on Bagley. They live right here. Me next. Tori, I can place yours. Tori, what is your username? I'm placing something else. Oh, it's okay. 
No, that's hashtag. So, oh, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Emily, Miv, Liv, Kiri, Mira, Sarah. Thank you for the subs. Miv's trying to bribe me to place Miv Sim. Do you think I should give in or should I avoid her? The Whelan family. Cute! And they've got lots of kids. This is perfect. Tori, this is what we need. This Sim might date my... My not so very Sim. Is there space for them out here? No, because I filled everything already. Mm. Okay, Oasis Springs. You can live here. Nice, we got options. All right. Um, oh, I gotta have to fix those lots soon. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix those. Um, Oh, these are- this is my brother, but I might kick him out. Because I don't like it. Sorry, I know that's bad, but... Yeah, look, the land grabs lot got destroyed, too. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see about some Maxis lots, then. Let's see what we can grab. Do we have the land grabs here? We have Desert Muse, though. I could place that somewhere. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't need that ugly library. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could destroy the land grab house if we wanted to. The land grabs are long gone. So, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Oh, I forgot about this one. There's like a cute little Willow Creek picnic spot that they made. Um, I might place the dust bowl. Should I? Let's get a bowling alley. That could be fun. I like the idea. Make Miv live in the vampire world. Oh, good idea! I'll put Miv somewhere grumpy like the vampire space. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Okay. That looks good there, actually. That kind of works. I like it. Oasis Springs Dust Bowl. Oh. Set as a bar. Cool. That'll be nice to have. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Besties, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again, okay? There are so many people here. And I'm probably gonna place like 50 households. It is- it is really bold of you to assume <laughs> that one- uh, I'm gonna see a message in chat and be like, yeah, let me look up that gallery name. I'm just scrolling through and randomly grabbing sims that seem like the right size household, okay? I say this with love, but you really, really have to, to give me the benefit of the doubt here or something, because <laughs> I promise you I'm trying, okay? I really am trying to make sure we get a lot of people's sims placed, but obviously I can't do that. And I also, I'm not going to apologize from play- Miv? I'm not gonna apologize for placing my, um, my mods, sims, cause like, my mods have to sit here and deal with sims kids harassing them on a daily basis. So, I hate to say it, but they are more important to me than you. Again, I say that with love, I really do, but... <laughs> they have to get harassed by children who are so mean to them, so... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna grab, I think, right now, um, I'm gonna get some people to put in the vampire world. Who's the lucky winner? Who's the lucky winner? I'm gonna get a big family to live in Vlad's mansion. Um, anyway, hopefully most of you understand what I'm talking about when I say that, but, um... There are a lot of people here, so it's not about picking your sims, it's just about filling the save, okay? I don't want anyone to get upset if they aren't the ones whose sims get picked. Um, would I put vampires in the vampire world? Oh, no, no, no. 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 Who is the lucky winner of the vampire house? I'm looking for one that has a pet that catches my eye. Like this little tiny dog does not seem like something that would live in the vampire house. 
Since the girl's parents died in a tragic pond accident, Tiana is taking care of her younger sister while also maintaining the family. Oh, perfect! And we got the- Oh, it's scary! Oh my god! Perfect! This is perfect for the vampire house. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted and needed. All right, there we go. Nice. And honestly, like, if their parents died in a tragic pond accident, it kind of feels appropriate for, like, this spooky house. <laughs> it was unfurnished? Oh, the house is just unfurnished. That's not my fault. Um, that means that because Vlad died, he took his furniture with him. Now, here's the thing. I know I've been fixing that a lot. But besties. Will I ever visit this house? There you go. <laughs> There's the answer to your question. <laughs> How does Vlad die? Burn in the sun? Oh, yeah, he died. I got him. Give the kids stuff? Oh, no, no. I'm not gonna do that either. Besties, again, I say it with love, but, um, think about how many sims I'm placing right now. If I had to give them all proper things, we would never finish. You know? Let's do Magnolia Promenade. Okay, I'm gonna get a spa, I think. What kind of spas have I built? Lot type spa. The Cucumber Spa. That's for Newcrest, though, and I'm pretty sure I've already placed it in Newcrest in this world. Yeah, I did. Okay, we already have some up there, so... <laughs> I've already placed some things. Um, we've got a cafe as well, so we can think about something else for Magnolia Promenade. Um, maybe I'll get, like... I don't know, I did that retail lot recently. The, like, toy store? That could be a fun one to place. Um, that's meant to replace this. I like it. And then I might place some restaurants or something down. <laughs> PM, thank you for the bits! Is Garden of Olives there? I'm pretty sure I did put that in Tartosa already. Um, PM and Lunar and Miss and Gigi and Jenny and Sarah and Crush and Emily and Mip, thank you again for the subs and bits. Nate Residential in here, Tigers? Yeah, that's interesting. I really like to turn, um, this area into, like, shops and stuff, because I find it's more useful. Um. I don't know, it's just, it's a nice feature to have, like, some nice, um, places to come visit, you know? Oh, save the game again. Save the game again. Okay. Um... What else have I built that might be useful? Mm. What kind of restaurants do we have, Simsy? What kind of restaurants have you built? These are old. <laughs> These are such a random selection. The, the Tragic Clown Diner could be a fun one, though. I might place that, we'll see. Goose, thank you for the prime sub. I've got a one called Let Us Eat that's like a, meant to be a vegan restaurant, but um, it's not on here, so that's good. <laughs> we can place the Tragic Clown Diner then. They get this. We get the Tragic Clown Diner. Yeah, the podium thing is broken in that lot, Crumple, I know. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I placed the Olive Garden one already, but I'm not gonna put that here. That was built for Tartosa specifically, so I'm not gonna place that here. Um, this is my Tragic Clown-themed diner. Honestly, it kind of works, so I think I'll use that. You know? 
Well, no, Nugget, I'm adding them because my save file is kind of dead, literally. Like, all of the sims, all the original sims are dead, and so I'm placing a lot of new ones in just to fill it up so it's not as sad and empty anymore. Um, I don't really care about those two. I might leave that for now and work on something more useful like Oasis Springs again. Um, but yeah, a lot of the original sims are dead, so I've been kind of going through and trying to get uh, some new ones that you all have made on the gallery just so we can have some more options, basically. Um, Hare and Hedgehog run out. Let's place that down in Windenburg. I don't know if I have or not yet. I don't think I did. We'll get it. That'll be a good fun. That'll be a good one to add, you know? Place some servos. I did see a couple of servos on the galleries. Maybe we could. We have a lot of sims we need to fill up, so don't worry. <laughs> Cafes are so broken. They are a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hair and Hedgehog Reno. Okay. Well, that'll be useful. That's a, a recent update that I did to it. So that'll be some fun touches to come and visit. I did. I literally put a restaurant like two seconds ago, Nip. So we, we just got that. We got a bowling alley already too, Alec. I keep mean I'm keep jumping around too much. It's confusing me. I need to work on um Oh, I don't want you to be in that house. I'm gonna put someone else there. I need to work on Oasis Springs next. Like we talked about. Okay, let's get some Sims. Um, let's go all household size. All household size. And we'll grab some random ones. I like this one because she's got purple hair. That's pretty. All right, come here, besties. You want to move it in here? Oh, that house is empty. <laughs> oh, never mind. Don't go into that one. We don't want you to have an empty house. You deserve to have a house that actually has stuff. This one has stuff. That'll be good for you. Here you go. Actually, we'll have furniture now. Okay, let me change the last name to be there. Na Oops, their name together so I don't get confused when I see it in the manage worlds. See, I, I'm trying to make sure that we've got like all of the households um, named so it's easy to find them. Where was her gym reno from Willow Creek from? I made that, Liza. Is that what you're asking? Or is that not the right answer to the question? Okay, uh, I placed them already. This one looks like it got emptied as well, so that's annoying, but oh well. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this could be a good small household for one of the smaller houses over here. Maybe you could live in this one. There's not actually space for them in there, but that's okay. Um, here's a small household. You could live in this one. I'm just trying to grab a bunch of random people. Ooh, you're gonna have a baby. That could be fun. The baby won't have proper outfits, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, oh, there's loads of you. That's good. Come over here. All right, we're doing pretty well, besties. We're doing pretty well. Miss and Freckle and Lauren and Jules and Jelly and Pink and Tina and Alex and Carrot. Thank you all for those subs. All right, I'm gonna scroll a bunch again. See if we can get back to yesterday again. Baby will have a nice cool eye ring when it gets older. Exactly. <laughs> How much further should I scroll? Where are we at? 18. These are all from today. Oh, geez. Let's go back to yesterday. There's more than I thought there would be. <laughs> There's more than I thought there would be. Fly Wolf and Tails and Jordan, thank you for the subs too. Why yesterday? Because I asked people to do it yesterday first, so a lot of people did it yesterday. I'm trying to make sure they get a chance to. I like these Sims, this could be a fun one. I'll place you all over here. Who's gonna live in the empty land grab house? Simsy, you forget how many people follow you? I know. <laughs> I know. 
Um, you don't need to re-upload, no, honey. Um, I mean, if you want to, you could, but, um... If everyone did that, the same problem would happen again, so... <laughs> Bear with us, we're trying. If you did it a year ago, if you made... Bestie, if you made sims for this hashtag a year ago, the chances of me finding them are zero. Literally zero. They won't even load. The gallery doesn't work like that. It's- it's too buggy and there's too many sims that have been uploaded. There's literally no way. If it was a year ago, there's literally no way. Absolutely no way that I would see it. Again, I say it with love, but that's just- The gallery is so bugged. Um... Johnny's ass maybe? Well, he's dead, Soda. Johnny Zest is dead. Put Stanley in the mansion? You want me to put Stanley in the empty land grab mansion? Because I actually would do that. Here. You can have this big mansion all by yourself, buddy. <laughs> Stanley Humphrey in the empty land grab mansion. Okay. Um, back to the gallery. <laughs> oh, back to the scrolling. I think it's kind of funny how it's empty. You know? Okay, maybe actually, let me look at like a two to three sim household really fast. Um, cause that way we can put, I'm gonna scroll back further, someone in one of the starter homes. Stanley Landgrab, you know? He's, he's earned the big mansion from all of his rags to riches attempts. He hasn't earned enough money to furnish the big mansion, um, but he earned the big mansion, I feel like. That makes sense. Um, I like the Sims outfits. You're really cute. And she's raising her little sister. I love that. I like this Sim. I'm gonna place her. You live over here. Cool. We'll get some more Sims still. Um, I'm gonna scroll even further. Can Stanley be part of the not so very family? Maybe. Um, you want me to look at popular now? Someone in the chat said I could. Um, <laughs> all the fancy, um, all the fancy icons. People use mods for those. That's kind of cool. Oh, I like these ones. These are cute. Place you. The hashtag is look Lil Simsy Beach Fairy. Okay, what do we got? Let me scroll a little bit further down. Maybe... Ooh, we're all shirtless. <laughs> I don't think I want them to walk around my house shirtless, though. I think I prefer if they if they wore clothes when they're walking around my neighborhood. <laughs> Why do you have houses but no furniture? Um, do you mean like in these areas? That's because the Sims that lived in those houses all died off. Um, and so they took their furniture with them when they died. <gasps> Husky, that's cute. There is no furnished option for some of them, because the Sims died. Um, I think what I might do for some of those things... <gasps> my king. I shouldn't, I shouldn't place this one down because he, he's already related to my Sims. It would be weird if I went back, but... <laughs> I like them. You were smart to marry him in your legacy. You were smart. I respect it. <laughs> okay, it stopped loading the popular now stuff. <gasps> Look at that dog. Ooh, I'll place you all. Nice. All right, we got some more Sims placed in Oasis Springs now. That's good. Um, now, Lil Simsy, have you renovated Desert Blue? Let's find out. Oh, I know I have, but can I find it on the gallery easily? That's the real question. Because the gallery is not good. So. I'm playing some new sims because they're all dead, Claire. <laughs> I've been playing in this save for 10 generations. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to filter by households. Um, I've been playing in this save for 10 generations. So all of the original sims are all dead. Uh, and my, my world is kind of messed up. So um, I've been I've been going back and trying to... Place some new sims down so that we can get some better options. Um, maybe get some renovations of parks and stuff. Uh, that's kind of the idea. I don't know, Kimmy. I mean, I'll probably do this again in the future, uh, purely because of the fact that, um, 
like the sims while they'll probably keep having babies uh they won't be good and i again i say that with love but um they won't be good <laughs> <laughs> because because um the they don't like get proper outfits and stuff uh so i'll probably do it again in the future most popular maybe come on show up show up if i turn on move in wouldn't it fill so yeah yeah it would but it would fill with randomly generated households that have like one or two sims in them and don't have proper outfits so i think that we can all agree <laughs> That it's better to to download sims that my viewers have made because they're all like properly dressed with backstories have you know more real families they're not just like two sims taking up a mansion um we can sort of like better uh get sims i don't know if the park is called desert in my gallery i might call i might have called it like oasis springs desert oasis park that is not the right one that's like a way older one and not what i wanted I don't like it. That's bad. Bad job, Kayla. Um, I don't know how to find my own park. If it won't load on my gallery page. Have I tried MCC Italian make sure get married and have babies? Yeah, Porta. <laughs> yes. Still isn't good. They're still really random and not that good. Um, so that's that's why we're doing this to get some more. Again, I think we can all agree. Um, I think we can all agree that it's better to have the households from my viewers. And I'm having fun placing them, so. No, it's just the Magnolia Blossom one. Why isn't it showing up? Whatever, I can just keep that one, I don't really care. I placed the Oasis Springs Dust Bowl. Is there any other Maxis lots? I mean... I don't want to put the base Desert Bloom back, but maybe I could put um, like this desert muse thingy somewhere, just to have something else. Oops, place it as a library. Anyway, it's just more fun to have the viewer sims in there, too, because then I might see your sim when I'm at the park or whatever, so. Um, if we had a point reward to get our sims? No, 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 Esme, don't give ideas. No, 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 no. If I had to look up every individual username, it would take literally forever. <laughs> it would take literally forever. Love the idea, Bestie. It's fun. It's a good concept, but not for this. I'm just trying to get random sims. Random sims, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's way easier to do it this way. I would love to get, like, individual sims like that but the hashtag and just grabbing random people when i see fit is a lot easier than if i like looked on the gallery and and got your specific sim that you requested and then i had to find them a house that like fit right to them it would just it would take a lot longer um and i would rather be able to just throw in some stuff and and get through it a little bit faster if that's okay um just because we're gonna be here for a while anyway <laughs> but it's a good idea it's a good idea maybe for like a different time when i have more time it's a good idea. Um, just not not for this. I'm scared. Um, I pressed the wrong button. I'm, I was trying to refilter it and try and refresh it, but I... Oh my god. The gallery is so annoying. Do you see what I mean, though? This is why. If we, if we looked for individual households, it would take us forever. Because look at this. Oh god. It is fun to watch, though, okay, so I agree. I like seeing people's stuff. Um, it's kind of fun. The gallery is horrible. <laughs> Even doing it just grabbing the random people is horrible. All right. Uh, 30 by 20 for the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. I want my version of it, please. This is all I ask you for, game. No? Oh, because I'm filtering by park. Duh. <sighs> Will it show up? No. Let's try bar. No? <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, no. Why does it have to be like this? The fact that I can't even find my own build in the gallery is so annoying. 
Like, I, I know for a fact that I have built a lot of bars. Gallery doesn't care. I want mine. <laughs> I want my version. <laughs> I might even honestly, I'll just put back the EA version for all I care. Pain. The problem with the newest thing um, is that when you put my newest, honey, it doesn't work with the newest stuff. I'm, I'm trying to get things from like 2018, 2019. Um, and that won't work. So, uh, Gas, you can't look in your library because the library is different than the gallery. The library just has things that are locally saved to your computer. Um, the library is literally just things that are saved, files that are saved on your computer. The gallery is things you've uploaded. I don't have the same library as I did in 2018. So that's not there anymore. Um, does that make sense? It's different. No, their name was Honey. I wasn't just being um, annoying. <laughs> I wasn't just calling them that. I do save my bills to my library, Angela, but I've gotten a new PC since I rebuilt that and stuff. It's it's long gone. Um, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Besties, I say this with love, but I, I know how to work the gallery. <laughs> okay. I appreciate the suggestions, but I, I promise you... Uh, in the years that I've been doing this, I've tried them all. Um, I've tried it all. So, <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't work. And, and that is the unfortunate reality of it. Sometimes it just literally doesn't work. Um, do I have a burners and builders, maybe? Um, let's find out. Look at how it's filtering things. Lot type gym. In all fairness, no one can work the gallery. Exactly. <laughs> the problem is, no one can. Oh, Sims 4. Found a bill from 2015. Nice. Nice. So it's just not there, as far as they're concerned. Did they, like, delete it off the gallery? Could you imagine if they did that? This is my Oasis Wellness Center. Oh, that's fun! Maybe I'll place that up here. That could be cool. I forgot I built that. Um. Anyway, the gallery doesn't work. <laughs> it's okay if we can't change them. I'm not that worried about it. I mean, we've placed a lot of things down, so we've got any, any small amount of new things. Um is good. Mostly it's just the sims that we want. It's just so annoying that I can't get my own house, my own lots, you know? Like, that's the worst part of it, is that I can't get my own lots. Because it isn't that bad that, like, you know, the gallery struggles to load sometimes and whatever. Sure, that's fine. We get it. You're the Sims 4 gallery. But it's so annoying that I can't place my own lots. What is a wellness center? Uh, a fancy word for a gym. It's a gym and a pool. I placed it as a pool, though. Alright, I'll call this area good. This can be fine. I don't care. <laughs> Let's go see if we can add some more households into Newcrest. Because that would be nice. Um, let's look at the hashtag again. Is it under lounge? No, you would be- no, it's not. It's a bar, it just isn't working. And this isn't like a rattlesnake juice bar exclusive item. Um, or situation. This is this is a common problem that I've been facing for literally forever. <laughs> the gallery is just bad at filtering. Um, yeah, gym, spa, pool, wellness center could be all such things. I built it so you could sort of switch it between them. Anyway, you look pretty. I'll take you. Is that a teen? Nice. Good Sims. Uh, I'll place you up here, probably, actually. Well, maybe you could have this one. You can have that one. That'll be nice. Next to the pool for you. 
How can I share my whole save? Well, you can you can upload your save files to people if you so desire, but uh, that's not what I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, right now, what I'm doing is is uh, fixing my personal save for my personal gameplay with Sims that you all have made, uh, so that my Sims can have friends and neighbors and everything again, because they're all dead. That's what we're doing today. Um. Your game's been loading for 15 minutes. Oh no. Um, in case this got buried, what do you think got buried? The Discord role didn't get buried. Bestie, I can see them all in a separate request queue. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. There's a there's a whole separate request queue. Oh, I like these Sims um, for the point redemptions. Uh, keeping in mind that my mods are not doing point redemptions right now. They'll they'll do them once I get off stream with the Discord roles. Um, it's a lot easier to handle it when we do it um, at the end than doing it during. But it only was a minute ago, don't worry. Won't get lost. Won't get lost. I promise. Is that yours, Dev? Oh, nice! I'm glad. That's pretty fun. Watson. Okay. Cool. We got a few options in here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I want to get another small household, maybe like one to two sims. Or I'll do two to three sims, because then I can have- <gasps> Oh, you've got two dogs. I probably shouldn't place a single sim though, because I'm worried about them not reproducing. I know that sounds bad, but it's true. I'm worried about them not having more kids. <laughs> um, I like these sims. Should I put- Ooh, roomies or potentially something more. Wink wonk. I might go place them somewhere. Uh, do you want to come over here? Do single sims adopt? I'm not sure. Do they? That's what I'm worried about. I don't know if single sims will adopt. I don't know how it works. <laughs> come on! They do? Oh, okay, never mind then. We can play single sims then. That's fine. I'll get that one that I want. Where did it go? Did I lose them? Oh, mint pets. Okay. Well, I might place this sim then. They've got a baby and a dog. That could be fun. There we go. All right. Well, those are mostly filled in. Um, do I have any more lots that I might wish to place down here? That is the real question. This is a 30 by 20 lot. Maybe I'll place it over here. I placed it as a residential lot. That's annoying. But these are just some EA restaurants, which might be nice just to have an extra place. Because you know how your sims get invited out to restaurants like all the time on dates and stuff? Um, it might be nice uh, to just place a couple extra. And then maybe a couple more houses, I don't know. I like the idea of having some more community lots to visit though. Like I, I do like the idea of having like just this. It's a realistic looking restaurant too. So that could be good. Restaurant. Sure. Sure. They ask you out to the toy store, uh huh. <laughs> uh, Rochelle, yeah, I've got a Discord channel for CC in my server. Um. There is a Discord channel for CC, if you're looking for one. Um, Newcrest Park. This is a 30 by 20 lot. I don't really want that. Are there any, like, 40 by 30 lots that I might want to put? That's 30 by 20. Yikes. Llama Land Libraries, 30 by 20. I already have a library right next to it. I built one. Um, some of these are so ugly. No offense to EA, but like truly, a couple of these restaurants are like so weird. <laughs> it's part of, partly why I want to place them. I hate to say it, but um, partly why I just want to throw them in. Dude, and Billy and Wilder and Crying and Xana, thank you for the subs. It'll be cute. <laughs> okay. 
All right, if this would just load. Thank you. Uh, that looks terrible placed down like this. So what we're gonna do is um, load it in a little bit better. And I'm gonna give them a bunch of, oh my God, I forgot that you can't do that properly. That's so annoying. Well, now it's a building stream. So, welcome in everybody. <laughs> it's good to see you. Let, let's build, shall we? No, I'm just gonna throw in a couple extra things. Can you not do that, really? Why? Literally give me one good reason why. Okay. Invalid rounded room. You are making me want to cry. Do you have any idea what kind of negative effects you have on people, game? Okay, besties, it's fine. I'm I'm landscaping and I, I'm doing it on purpose. I wanted to do this. I I thought it would be really fun if I could sit here and, and redo this. This is this is fully intentional and exactly what I wanted to do today. Can you tell? I literally will just put anything down. I don't even care. Look. Boom. Sure. And then I'll throw some like big trees in. Fill in the rest of the lot so it looks like it's on purpose. Sure. Yeah, that works. Come visit. <laughs> and that's meant to be a restaurant. All right. Well, two more restaurants will be good. Two more will be a nice touch. You okay, bestie? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually having fun. It might not seem like it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just stressed out by The Sims 4 at the moment. Um, but I, I promise you I'm actually having fun. <laughs> Again, I realize it might not seem that way, but <laughs> it is fun, I swear. All right, 40 by 30. I'm gonna get another park. I love a good park. I have this one placed in uh, Willow Creek, I think, already, but I might place it here. My gallery is just Lil Simsy, Bloxy. Same as my Twitch channel. Easy to find. Um, yeah, it's fun, Christine. I kind of like it. Are any of you also doing this right now? <laughs> because... Um, you know what? If we all did it together, maybe it'd be easier. No, it's, it is it is more fun, like, hanging out with you all and doing this, um, than, than doing it by myself. Oh, this is the same part that's already- wait, I placed this up there in- in Newcrest already. This is literally here in this world. Never mind. Flop. Um. What kind of lot type do I want instead? I built this ages ago. What kind of Maxis things do we have left? This is the real question. Maybe if there's anything random I never place. Like, you know, what if, what if I decided I wanted this? No. <laughs> How about, what if there was Lost Gardens of Healing? Just vibing here in, in Newcrest. Why would that be there? I don't know. But what if it was there? It's random. It's pretty. It could be fun. I don't actually like this lot that much. This is an EA build. <laughs> and it looks like one. Never mind. I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to do that. I just can't. I'd rather have this. What do you look like? I already placed this once in this world. 
Do you know what? Honestly, though, that could be a good thing in Newcrest. Forget it. I'm just going to place it. Then I can go to the one in Burnleton Bay or the one here, and it's the same one. <laughs> Newcrest is full now. Great work, everybody. <laughs> all right. Let me just make sure I um, am clicked off of all these sims. Allie, I'm trying to do most of the worlds, which is why I'm kind of giving up on some of the things, because I'm going to come back and add a lot to all the other ones, too, so. Um, we finished the first three. I did Magnolia Promenade. I haven't done Windenburg yet. This will be good. Um, you can stay there. That's fine. Got a couple starter homes. Some new gyms. We'll get some more families. Let's do this first. Hashtag look Lil Simsy. Windenburg is huge. Yeah, I know. Is there a set date for when I'm starting Not So Berry? Well, so keeping in mind that I'm, I'm continuing on with a household that I'm already playing in. <laughs> and that Not So Berry Sim aged up into a teen yesterday. Like in real life yesterday. Um, and so I will probably play with the Potts family again on Tuesday. Um... And that will probably be that first day of Not So Berry, I would assume. First day of Not So, I don't know. Um, sort of depends how you look at it. Rich Gothic Family. Oh boy. That'll work. That'll do for this family. Free real estate on. You can live right here. Oops, unfurnished for them. Cool. Anyway, those of you that are asking, no, I am not doing this for a save file for you all. This is a Simsy's personal save file. <laughs> this is literally a save file that I am actively playing in as we speak. The one that I've been playing in for literally 10 generations, you know? Um, and that's why we're doing this, because I've been playing in it for so long um, that uh, everything is kind of messed up. <laughs> all the original Sims are dead. Um, you know, so. <laughs> Must we made a different time on Monday? No, regular time on Monday. Regular time on Monday. Um, but on Monday, uh, the new kit is coming out, so we're gonna build probably. Distant relatives of the pancake family. Nice. <laughs> anyway, the Sims are dead, so. This will be nice to have some extra ones. If the gallery would load. New kit, I know. <laughs> the new kit's kind of like maximalist furniture vibes. Um, so I think it'll be kind of fun to play in. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try that uh, soon. Monday, when it actually comes out, we'll play it. It'll be fun. I feel bad. A lot of these houses are empty. But that's not my problem, so. That's true. We are doing something with Gluon on Monday, too. I didn't know if Gluon had announced it, but if um, you know, then <laughs> yes. Um, we're doing a, a collab with Gluon on Monday night as well. But I'm going to stream twice. I'm going to stream twice on Monday for that. Is that why you asked? Oh, okay. I see. I didn't know if he had announced it or not. I wasn't going to tell you if he hadn't told you with <laughs> his stream. But we're doing a, like a challenge together on Monday. So. Will I get banned if I say hi or LOL two times? Bestie, no. Do you really think that Lily of us? You think if you said hi twice, you'd get banned? Um, no. When you spam, that means you've spammed something like ten times. And saying hi doesn't usually... Um doesn't usually count for that. <laughs> um, usually, uh, the, you know, it's, it's when people are spamming um, more disruptive messages that are going to get them in trouble and get them timed out and stuff. Um, you know what I mean? You're not going to get banned because he said hi. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Um, maybe I'll place these people. 
they could be good. When does the stream end? Um, I usually get off stream around seven o'clock. So in like an hour and a half ish. That house is not big enough for that family. No, I know. I'm going to go to some smaller households now. I've been placing a lot of Sims down, so it's going to be so fun when we start playing again. Um, it's going to be really fun for us because, oh, you're cute. Um, it's going to be really fun for us when we um, actually play because there's going to be so much like story progression stuff happening because there's so many more Sims now. Like people are going to be adopting ba babies and having babies and there's just going to be a lot going on. Um, I look forward to it. Um, I need to get... You know, look at popular now. Um, I want to get some more Sims. Oh, you're cute. Nice. I might need some more men. I've been placing a lot of, a lot of like single women and like single moms. Um, lots of couples. We need like some more single men kind of types. <gasps> single mom of a teen. That's perfect. Okay, good. That'll work. We need more teens. I disagree, less men. I know, that's the thing. I won't lie to you, besties. I have noticed, I, I think I've placed, like, the majority of lesbian couples. I think that's what most of them are. <laughs> There's, like, no men in this save. I think that speaks volumes about, about you all <laughs> and the kind of sims that we all play with. Because I'm the same way. I do that all the time. <laughs> I play with, like, so many lesbian couples in my own game. So, I, it makes, I mean, it checks out. Are you two together? There we go. Men. <laughs> nice. Um, I might uh, evict my own brother and have them live here. There we go. Oh, last name Lemon. I like that. Lemon Banks. Nice. They're engaged. Um, this world could be full now. Let's go to San Myshuno. Um, let me save the game. Let me save the game. Yeah, they were engaged. I know, Sunshine. I did that, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I saw they were a couple, so I put them down. Um, I, I like the idea of that, because hopefully they'll have kids and stuff. Um, I'm just marking all these people as unplayed. Alright, cool. Um, let's play some apartment sims. Oh, I'm gonna save the game again. I'm getting scared. Let me grab some people here. Let me scroll. Ooh, big dog. I like that. Oh, cool. Okay, single dad and his son and their dog, Toby. Perfect. Oh, could not be better. Could not be better. I love it. I left my pots. Oh, did I mark them as unplayed? Willow Creek. Don't yell at me. It's easy to fix. <laughs> I'm not even playing in the game yet. <laughs> Problem solved. You don't need to yell. Do you see what they're doing? They're yelling. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, besties. It's okay. It's, it's really easy to fix. <laughs> um, all right. I already placed them. I already placed them. Maybe I could put... <gasps> Your little dog is named Cinnamon? Oh my god, easy. Easy, 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 easy. Alright, problem solved there. I will get you. I like the pink hair too. Literally helping, not yelling. Cat, I don't I don't mean for you to take that personally. Here, besties, let's let's reevaluate the situation, okay? You said, or who, you know, everyone said, oh my god, the pots. But then it was a hundred people that said, oh my god, the pots. And me, on the receiving end, felt like I was being screamed at <laughs> for a non-issue. <laughs> That's, it's just the nature of streaming. It's not a problem. I'm just joking around with you. Let's not take that personally, okay? <laughs> everyone, please. <laughs> Please understand that my intentions are never bad. Don't, don't, don't try and take what I'm saying the wrong way. I'm just memeing. Um, okay. I would like to get some more Sims. Hmm. 
Is that Vlad and his real father? If it would load. You can have dogs in apartments, Mystic. I mean, you might be having glitches with it. But dogs can live in apartments. Vladdy's real daddy. The second. He's the third. There's a second. <laughs> I don't want to place them because I already killed Vlad. It'd be weird to have a second one. But that is quite funny. Um, I am very pleased with that. Oh my god. The gallery, please. <laughs> Lego and Nitt and Polly and Emmy and Bruggles and Riley and May and Steph and Soap and Mel and Com Comfy and thank you all for the subs and stuff. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna save the game and try again. What families have you placed so far? Oh, Elise, I've placed loads. I'm- I'm kind of just, um, scrolling and gra grabbing random ones. It's really hard to filter through the gal gallery, as- as you might be seeing, um, based on what we're doing right now. It's really hard to filter the gallery, um, so I'm trying to find Sims. I'm trying to find new Sims, but four to six Sims, please. Bestie, I'm gonna go back to that. I'm just getting small households right now because we're looking at a sort of small area, okay? Give me a sec. Um, we're sort of looking at a small area right now, so. Um, my Instagram, you can't find it? My name's just Lil Simsy on Instagram, Amy. Same as everywhere else. Literally my Twitch, my Instagram, my YouTube, my gallery, literally everything is all the same username. Um. Who's that? Oh, you're the ones that I didn't delete. Those are some EA generated sims. I'd rather put one of your sims. Um. Hot friends. Okay, they're literally friends apparently. That's fine. <laughs> oh, this apartment's more for people with kids, huh? Wait. Maybe you could live, um, in here. Hot friends. Sure. <laughs> Wait, I should change the last name to not be hot friends. Um, there, we'll just make it say Alex and Ray. Sure. That's better. Friends. <laughs> okay, how about, um, you've got a young kid. That could work for the, this one. I like it. What's your last name? Birch. Okay, cool. Maybe a sim that is pregnant would be good for the next one. Um, because there's like a bassinet. Will I finish this today? Well, Fury, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna fill up the thing for the rest of the stream and then call it a day, probably. Oh my god. Gallery, please. Let's look at popular now again, just to see. Um. Oh. We're in, did I already place these two that are engaged? I know I placed an engaged couple. I don't think I placed these two, though. Maybe we'll place them here and then we can say they're gonna adopt a baby soon. I mean, the game might have them do that, so. All right, that'll work. Let's get a single sim and maybe a sim with a kid again. Um, I picked unfurnished. No, I didn't pick unfurnished. Um, the lot is just ruined. <laughs> I, I didn't choose that for myself. Um, that's just how it worked. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the sims have died, and so because a lot of those sims have died, the houses are empty. Um, so that's, that's sort of the situation. <laughs> Is that a lot of the lots, basically when the sims die, um, when they die, when they, when they lived in the house, uh, when they finish dying off, basically, um, it, it leaves them with a completely empty lot, so... That is what we're kind of stuck with at the moment, unfortunately. Um, I love you and your cat. You'll be perfect to live in Penny Pizzazz's house. That's great. Um, but that'll be really good. I like it. Um, and then 
Do they get refurbished? No, they're they're literally unfurnished. They are literally unfurnished, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, that's just the way the game works. So it's very annoying, but um, that's the way it's happening. Okay. Let me finish going. Oh, I'll change your last name. Do they have a... I didn't see it. Where do they live? Oh, I didn't put a sim there yet. Um, what's your last name? Fields Brooks. Okay. I'm trying to put their last names because then it's it's easier for me to find them if I befriend any of them. It's easier for me to see. Perez. Okay. I need to remember to do that if they don't have the last name as the household name. Because that way, like, if you befriend them, then it's easier to look like for the Perez household. Um, when you're trying to scroll around, you know? Um, you guys could come in. Mermaid. Oh my goodness. Oh, I should place you in Sulani then. <laughs> I shouldn't put you in the city. <laughs> you don't need to live, you don't need to live here. Um, you can live in a place that actually has access to the water. That would be good for you. <laughs> Sorry, bestie. <laughs> um, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to grab... Ooh, you're cute, I love your cat. So many of them have pets, it's really fun. <laughs> um, that has two bedrooms, so I shouldn't put you there. That has a couple bedrooms. These are all bigger apartments. I've like filled them all in. Hmm, should I put you in a starter home somewhere then? Have I placed any spellcasters yet? I don't know. I'm here's the thing. I'm not really sure who I've been placing. To be completely brutally honest with you, I am literally just grabbing random sims. Like I'm not even looking that closely at them. Um so like when it comes to specifics, uh, I'm just trying to get random ones. Um I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that. Um and obviously, like, it's- I, I didn't make these sims, and it's hard to scroll through the gallery, because when you try, look what it does! So it's so hard to find people like that. Um... I swear I'm trying to get, like, a, a diverse group of sims, <laughs> in general, um, in every way, but, you know, like, at the end of the day, I- I- I'm trying to remember what we got, you know? Um... And I'm- it's hard to find a cult in particular. Because the occults are, like, not everybody, like, named the lot, you know, occults. <laughs> so, it can be kind of hard to find that kind of thing. Um, I want a household that maybe has some more teens. Some extra teens could be good. I see at least one teen in here. This could be nice. Teen? Yeah, nice. All right, I'll place you. I really am doing my best, though, I promise. <laughs> It's just hard because, you know when you scroll too far and then it stops loading? <laughs> the gallery is so cursed. It's a disaster. Um, oh, I love your dog. I might place you. Yeah, you accidentally scroll down too far and then it loads for like minutes, you know, when you get completely stuck. Save again. Um, Cold and Dove and Queen Midnight and Nike and Bella and Coffee Bean, thank you for the subs. All right, I'm gonna scroll farther down for a while. You tried to sneak in two spellcasters? Oh, you're trying to trick me now? <laughs> so you're trying to trick me? What if I place the same household twice and don't realize? Honestly, I wouldn't put it past myself to do that. It's, it's easy to happen. Will I put eight sims in the penthouse? Maybe, Mona, that could be good. Might be a good spot to throw in some extras. <laughs> this sim has blue hair. I know you can't see, but I'm gonna place this one. I like it. I like it. Oh, they had a celebrity level. You wanna move in here then? <laughs> uh, sweet music and Sunny and um, and everybody. Lego, Polly, Emmy, Bruggles, Riley, May. Did I miss anything else? I hope I didn't. I'm not trying to. I'm so not trying to. I really am trying. Um, okay. We got a couple fancy apartments in here. Who looks fancy? They look fancy. Atkinson is a nice fancy name. 
Ooh, single dad with lots of teens. Perfect. Oh my god, look at her little teens. That's so cute. Sorry, sorry. I missed your sub. Kathy, I'm sorry if I did. I really am sorry. I appreciate your sub very much. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't see it. I'm so trying not to miss things. I'm so trying not to miss things. Um, okay. <laughs> How about... You all seem nice. Is there any specifics about where they need to live? No, I don't think so. Okay, good. Sometimes I kind of forget to read the description, and, and what if they're like, oh, they live in Sulani in the description, and then I put them here, you know, but... <laughs> um... Their cat was named Mr. Darcy, was it really? I didn't check. Um, okay. How about these people? Teens, teens, nice teens! That is what we need. You can live here. Oh, that's where the toddler lives by itself, so. You can live here. I like it. There's a lot of pets in the save now, too, which is pretty fun. A lot of people have made pets with them. So hopefully we'll see some more people, like, walking around with, um, with pets. I would like that. Because, like, so many people have made pets. <laughs> I'm seeing a whole bunch of them. Alright, we're doing okay. I haven't placed any of the penthouse sims yet. I'm missing that one. Okay, so maybe just a couple more for this world. To be fair, you did ask for that. I mean, I guess I did ask for that. <laughs> McCloud, I like his cheese hair. You can live here. You can live here. Um, oops, you, someone already lives there. Here I meant. Here I meant. Um, Peachy, I've been looking. I have, I think I placed at least one. I don't, I, again, I'm scrolling. I'm just looking for people. Like, <laughs> um, I, I didn't make these sims. You all made these sims. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of them, too, on the gallery. It's just a question of the gallery loading. Look, see, watch this. But it's a, a question of whether or not, um, we can find them. <laughs> so we're trying to scroll. <sighs> The gallery does not make it easy to do that, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna look at eight sims, probably. Um, yeah, that's, that's the annoying part about this, is that we're trying to find people, but you have to deal with the gallery. And it's so hard to find people on the gallery. <laughs> Filter my most popular? I don't want to filter my most popular. Um, those are gonna be old sims, like from a long time ago. I'd rather get the newer ones that you all have made more recently. Um, thank you. <laughs> That's really good. That is really good. I'm so glad that happened. Okay. Um, I want to get a household maybe that has some older Sims in it. Like maybe some teens. Um, this looks like there's some teens. Teen, teen, child, child. That could be good. Maybe I'll place them. Filter by base game. Sophia, does that even work? I, I asked this question honestly. Does filtering by base game even work? Because I don't, I'm not sure that it does. <laughs> um, I'm honestly not sure that it does. All right, I might place these people. From experience, no. Yeah, that's that's what I was worried about. Um, did we try to do it yesterday? Yeah. The, the gallery makes this so much more difficult than it needs to be. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a restaurant that I built to replace the old salt house. Um, it, that's one of those things that probably works sometimes, but doesn't work all the time. You know? Um, which is lovely. Oh, good. Can't find my own salt house renovation. I saw it earlier. There we go. Old salt house restaurant. Now, why do, why is it there three times? Couldn't tell you. But that'll be good. 
That would be nice. Julia, loser, Paisley, Mellow, Jess, Emma, and Sweet Music. Thank you for the subs. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense, Ren, that every sim technically has the base game, so the filter might get confused, because when you filter by, like, including the base game, it's not filtering by only base game. <sighs> it filters by things that include the base game. Um, but that's really annoying. Okay. Old Salt House. I'm gonna take the word restaurant out of the title, because I know it's a restaurant, I built it. Cool. Yeah, the tags just don't work. The, the gallery, listen. Here's the thing. <laughs> the gallery just doesn't work. <laughs> we are experiencing that very much firsthand as we try and do this today as well, you know? Like, uh, it just is the way that it is. Uh, okay, we did say my Shuno Sims. I did Forgotten Hollow. I did Brindleton Bay. Let's pop some people in Del Sol Valley, shall we? I already got one Sim in here. We can get a couple more. Um, unfortunately, Judith Ward is dead. Um, maybe I'll filter by four to six Sims again. And I'll try and filter by- I don't know how to filter it better. This is the thing. I don't know, like... And how do you look for celebrities? I don't know, like, you can't. <laughs> this is the thing. It's so annoying. They look fancy. Oh, base game family. You look, you look rich. There you go. You live up here. Oh, can't afford it. Free real estate on. You can live in this house. Judith Ward's empty house. Um, okay. Let me change the last name to match the right one. And then we can get some more. Hurry up. Maybe you could live in the little starter home down here. That could be nice. Hanson. Oh, great. Have fun. That's exciting. Wouldn't want to live there? No, I wouldn't want to live there either. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to live in that house. Not the land grabs. Oh my god, it's the land grabs, but with the recoloring. <laughs> they gave them, like, new hair. <laughs> Wait, should I place those? I might do that. No, I didn't place them unfurnished, Kay. No, so you've misunderstood. I, I did not place them unfurnished. The problem is, there is no furnished version, because the sims that lived here previously died and took all the furniture with them. So the lots are completely empty. C release. Not the land grabs. They're the C release. <laughs> but yeah, that's why they're all empty. I, I'm not placing it unfurnished. It's it's placing itself unfurnished, unfortunately. Um, that is a very annoying uh, part of this. Okay, their last name is Mirin. Sure. All right. This is full. Let's go into Strangerville. All right, we got some more options now. Um, Grover, you look cute. I like your little cat. Who are you? That's your wife. That's your teenage daughter. Who's evil? Nice. Okay, good. Perfect for Strangerville. <laughs> Maggie, sugar. Great, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, I think... Mm, I think I placed the same family twice. Did I? Which one? The Hansons? Oh. I don't know. They were a good size. This is the problem with the gallery not loading properly. You can only scroll so far, so I scroll back to the same ones. That's annoying, though. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and scroll for a while, see if we can get some people. The Mirren were twice? The Mirren family were duped? Now I've been told two different things. I don't know who to believe. The Grover family is yours? Did I place the Mirrens twice? Would you, would you like me to delete them? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> people are telling me two different things. Hi, Snap. Thank you so much. I really need you right now, Wormy. I'm feeling really stressed out, so. It's greatly appreciated. Um, 
I'm trying to scroll even further back so we can get to like when I first asked people. Um, oh, great. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for the bits, by the way. I appreciate the, the, the notification of the change of username too. Oh, sorry. That scared me. <laughs> she shook her little head. Because now I know who you are. <laughs> uh, being a hot dog and not so mighty leak. I got cat hair on my face. Um, okay. That was kind of cute. Okay. Well, I've been stuck for a second now. This is great. I'm really glad. Okay, here we go. Maybe I should get one of these sims that- Oh no, I scrolled by accident! I was gonna get one of these so this wouldn't happen! Now look at me! Ruined. Ruined. I'm looking at this now and I'm seeing like three families I want to download. Maybe I'll save them to my library so I can grab them. Like you people, I'm gonna grab you. You people, I'm gonna grab you. <laughs> this way I don't have to reopen the gallery and scroll through the whole thing again because it takes like 20 years to load. The Reagan family, I like your dog so I'm gonna grab you. Um, oh no. Okay, I can't scroll any further. Never mind. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You can live up here. That's fine. That's fine. Have a good time, my dears. Reagan. There. Welcome to Strangerville. You. Welcome to Strangerville. Honestly, I'm sorry that I'm putting you here. <laughs> I actually feel bad. You. Welcome to Strangerville. Big mansion for you. There you go. I like it. I like it. We've got another starter home that we can put some sims in. So that could be good. Households, two to three sims maybe? Sure. Um, that's not two to three sims. That is not two to three sims. Literally, why is it? Oh my god. Um, Sugar Skull, you can just cheat it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you can just cheat it. Um, Gator Todd and Emily, thank you for the subs and bits and stuff too again. Okay. Um, I want to get perhaps you. Single man, that's useful. Welcome to Strangerville. So sorry to put you through this, honestly. Six people died in your neighborhood stories. I'm so sorry. Do you know what? I, um, up until today, I had not had anybody die from neighborhood stories. Um, like not a single Sim this whole time. And then today I was recording a rags to riches with Stanley and I had three people die in a heat wave. Um, like three people died from overheating. And so it sounds like to me from like what I'm noticing with this, um, maybe, like, when there's actually a heat wave happening in-game, like, those sims are actually more likely to die from the heat wave. Um, because three of them did. It was my first time having that happen today. Should I raise a toddler in this plane? Sure. Finish your last final? Nice, Maggie! I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, and Celery and Beatrice, thank you for the subs, too. Okay, I'm pretty happy with these sims. This kind of works for this area. That'll be good for Strangerville. Um, and Sulani, I might... Oh, I've got a Sulani modern villa that I placed. Okay. <laughs> uh, we can grab some more sims for this. Um... No! Oh. Self-appointed Sulani ambassadors. Sure, <laughs> that works. <laughs> I just said I was gonna do Sulani, so... Salva, I don't have a dog that I live with, um, but my family has three dogs. Like, I grew up in a house with three dogs, but I have moved out. All I have is this. At the moment. Oh, sorry. All I have is this, though. Um. Oh, Emma, congratulations! That is huge! Yeah, this is- this is my dog right here. Um, back on the desk. Here you go, Wormy, sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to show you off. Sister Love. Yay to sisterhood. Are they all sisters? Ooh, that's a fun idea. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay. That's a cool one. I like that because then they'll all have some backstory, hopefully, when they 
live in the town for a while. Okay. Nice concept. Read. All right. Anything else we can place? Um, Hopkins. Are these like some grandparents with their grandkids? That could be fun. You can live out here. Get this fancy house. That one's furnished. Um, how about you? Jacobs? Sure. You live out here? I think that house is actually empty. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this one's got a mint sim. Oh, it's their current not so berry family. Oh, they're actually playing with them. That's fun. Let's place them. I haven't placed many not so berry sims in here. So that could be good. That could be good. Um, their last name is Fresh. <laughs> Am I gonna fill empty lots? I'm not gonna fill all the empty lots, but I've been filling a lot of the empty lots. In the worlds that I sort of frequent more often, I've been filling them. Um, I haven't filled them all though, just because I've been stressed. I like these sims, this will be good. They're, they invited a witch to bring some magic into their lives. Oh good! Oh, that's great, because I can kill that sim so I have a spellcaster grave. I'm sorry, that's really bad mindset to have, but it, that's true. That's what I'm thinking about. So, <laughs> um, oh, more spellcasters. Oh, maybe I'll go place them in Glimmerbrook then. I don't know. Here, move in. That'll be good. Rip in advance. I got options now. That's good. <laughs> Oh, these sims are cute. Okay, I'll place you. Come live out here. And then maybe we could get one more smaller family with like starter home size. One sim. Sorry to be like, I know I'm sitting here streaming placing your sims. I'm already like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> That's really bad, but. Um, okay, maybe. I don't want to place an old sim, although that would be funny. I want a younger sim so they actually grow up. Do I place all the new houses down? No, I'm not going to fill in every empty lot with houses, I don't think, Jay. Um, I'm going to place some community lots, though. I'll, I'll go back and keep adding some community lots to it. Um, but I'm not going to... Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Um fill in every empty lot, because I worry about my game being too laggy if I do that. I hope you understand. Uh, abstract, we're, we're literally just filling up the pot's um, save. I'm, I'm trying to fix the pot save today. Um, so in my mind, I am playing with the pots, but um, this might not be the kind of pots gameplay you're into, and that's okay, you don't have to watch. I'm just trying to fill up the save a little bit with some more sims so that it's not as empty. Um, because as of recently, we've been struggling. Everyone's dead, so I'm just trying to get some more. We did place a mermaid zone. I actually placed one already, so we do have a mermaid in here. Um, we do have some. Am I going to refurnish the homes? Bestie, you think I got time for that? Because I don't. I don't. I'm going to skip Glimmerbrook, and we can come back to it if we get some more spellcasters. Um... I guess I'll just place like three households over here. Your game's been loading for 45 minutes now. Oh no. Oh no. Black Widow challenge. Oh boy. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Have him live out here. <laughs> you can live in this house by yourself. That seems like a lovely addition of the game. An evil man. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I will place these sims here too. I like this. You can live in this house. Sure. And maybe one more four sim household to live here. This could be good. You got a little dog. I like it. All right. Nice. An evil man living on a college campus. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, when you put it like that, that is not good. That is not good. Okay. Well. 
I, it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, are we a couple? Fiance, yes. You can come live out here. Perfect. Lots of engaged couples now. It's so fun, obviously, because we didn't used to, oh. We didn't used to have the ability to place like engaged couples really easily because you couldn't make engaged sims in cast. You could still upload engaged sims, but you know what? I'm actually gonna place these sims. I'm serious, I'm gonna place them. I don't know. What's their last name, Smith? Okay. It'll be funny, they'll walk around, we'll like it. <laughs> we are playing on normal lifespan, yeah, Emmy. I've already put it back to normal lifespan. Um. Who else? Scroll for a while, see if we can get some new. Fresh meat, maybe. Uh, Blueberry, Theo, Leah, Pisces, thank you for the subs. I'm kind of looking for more men, I won't lie. I haven't, I have not placed a lot of men. Um, there's a lot of, oh, well, they could be cute. I like the toddlers. That's not what I was looking for, but that's fine. They can live out here. <laughs> Why is it being fast again? I know, that's the thing. It's being fast again all of a sudden. Why? Why? I mean, um, that's not my choice. <laughs> the question was, you can't say short in your chat. No, you can't. And you know why? Because this stupid Twitch has blocked a bunch of random words, and no matter how often I try and whitelist them, the word shirt, short, and pepper are the most annoying ones. You can't type those words in my chat. It literally won't let you. The option is just not available to you. Despite all of my best efforts, you literally can't type it. Why? I don't know. Did I do that? No. So annoying. <laughs> It's literally so annoying. Um, oh, single father of teen, that's good. We need more like smaller households to fill in some of these apartments and stuff. So that'll be nice. Um, single men, teenagers, covers all the bases. All right. No, the mods can type it. It's the viewers that can't. You'll see if you try, it won't let you. <laughs> Um, try not to get around it though. That's the thing. This is different. It's different because we didn't block those words. So I don't really care if you try and get around those, but, um, if other things that are blocked are blocked, maybe don't try and get around those because, you know, for the most part, if a word is blocked, it's probably for a reason with the exception of a couple random glitches. Um, nice single father. Thank you. Anyway, um, with, for the most part, if a word is blocked, I might have a good reason for it, you know? Um, So, anyway, but those words I didn't block. <laughs> those words I didn't block. Also, a lot of times um, there's things that like Moobot blocks, or not Moobot, like my, um, I'll place them in an apartment actually. There's a lot of things that like the auto mod picks up. Not the same thing as things being blocked. Um, when things are blocked, it means that it won't let you send the message, uh, which is different than, than like things getting picked up um, by the, the auto mod and honestly i'm i'm okay with auto mod picking up sometimes things that maybe it doesn't need to because here in my mind um in my mind it's probably better for auto mod to pick up more rather than less because that way if there are bad things it won't get through it is just kind of annoying though when like things that aren't bad get get held for review but all my mods have to do is like say yes that's fine and then it goes into chat um so it just like delays the message so that my mods see it first before any viewers see it, um, which is good. Are these just roommates? Oh, perfect. Okay, that'll be a really nice touch, actually. Um, but yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but I, at the end of the day, I feel like it's better if Automod is just holding things because then less bad stuff has a chance of getting through to the chat. Um, and that's the thing, it's like a genuine concern, right? Because people type a lot of nasty stuff in Twitch chat and all Automod does is hold it for a second and then show the mods first and be like, hey, humans, I'm a bot and I can't tell context. Is this okay? A lot of times it is okay and it's just being like overly cautious. Um, but, you know, it doesn't know that, right? Um, and so it, you, it's like, it learns machine learning, right? <laughs> the mods have to approve things that are fine, so. Um, no one's ever in trouble if that happens, don't worry. 
If you ever get picked up by the auto mod, don't worry. Not in trouble. Happens to everybody. Um, Mount Comerebi. Loads of houses out here. This will be fun. Mm, I'm gonna scroll for a while. See what we can do. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> got stopped. I got. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm gonna scroll for as long as it lets me. How about that? <laughs> uh, Girl and Elio and Emily and Blueberry, thank you for the subs. Literally as long as it will allow me to, I will scroll for. Maybe I should stop. Maybe I, maybe I've reached my. You know what? Let's grab a few of these in my library and place them. Oh, the Kennedy Legacy. Is this your legacy household? Oh, that's fun. I'll place them. That's cool. I like it when we get to place people's sims they're actually playing with, you know? Um, it's kind of exciting. <laughs> um, I'm placing them in my library because it's a little bit easier. Then I won't lose my spot in my scrolling. You could be cool. Smaller household. I already have them. Do I? See, I don't know what I've placed. Are those ones that I saved to my library? I already placed these ones? Really? Okay, never mind. I won't place them then. You think I have a few duplicates? You think I have a few duplicates? And you tell me this now? <laughs> ah! You realize they might have the same name, by the way. It could be different sims with the same name. Um, that is not good. But they could have the same name. Like, you know, if I placed more than one Smith family, besties, I wouldn't be surprised. But these are common last names, so... Okay, I can't load it anymore. I'll place you. I- I don't think I have duplicates. I- I'm not sure if that's true or not, <laughs> but... Um, I placed these before. No, I know I placed these before. I, it's just these two that I'm placing right now. Those have been in my library for a while. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, there were two press names that were different, exactly. I actually noticed that too. I noticed the same last name as somebody else, but... The name Perez is not exactly uncommon, so... <laughs> Um, it's okay. Um, it'll be fine. They might end up dying anyway. Think about The Sims. We've got this new story progression setting with death on, so... Um... Pretty much only one person said I thought I had duplicates, so I'm feeling okay about this. Oh my god, it's not loading. Oh my gosh, this person updated, like, all of their Hollingsworth family. Look, Gen 4, Gen 4 update. <laughs> We've got, like, loads of this Hollingsworth family. That's pretty fun. Um, should I place one of them? Maybe I will. Maybe the one with the, uh, older Sims? I don't know. I don't know. That could be cool. I like it. Hollingsworth. Let's get some more. help load better. Oh my god, after today, I never want to use The Sims 4 gallery again. I'm dead serious. <laughs> after today, I'm over it. Um, brother, father, mother. Oh, cool. That's a nice setup. We can place these people in here. I like it. Um, is that all the household? No, one more. One more starter home size, like small family. Two to three Sims. See if we can get two sims. Maybe like a single parent or something could be good. Anyway, after this, never using the gallery again. Literally never. We're almost done with sims, and then I'm gonna try and place some more community lots soon, I think. Um, I think that would be a good touch. Mm, maybe... Someone with slightly older sims could be good. Or I guess this house is set up to have a kid in it. So maybe they could live there. The Parks family, sure. It is a weird stream, Ellie, I know. I don't usually do stuff like this on stream. Um, but it's kind of fun. It's a little bit different than normal. I kind of like it. Um, 
I don't know. That's fine. It's so hard to look for like specific things on the gallery when we're trying to do it like this because I'm literally just trying to grab random sims and the gallery doesn't load. So like I, I keep having this like, oh, I shouldn't scroll too far because then what if it stops <laughs> moment, you know, where I like get a little bit nervous and I feel like just grab somebody while you can, you know, um, and then I just, it's so difficult to like find sims like it's so hard to like look for like specific things like i want a household that has five teens okay good luck finding them like it's really difficult to do but we're working on it we're working on it chloe gator Knot, and andromeda and and cooks and Soros and stuff thank you all for the subs um oh big family i like this i might place them their base game too there you go yeah, we could get some better filters. That would be useful. <laughs> Game, thank you. <laughs> All right, let me um, go through this a little bit. Mark these as unplayed. Got that, got that. Here's my pots family. I might take the fancy words out of it. About Stanley's family? Oh, Stanley doesn't have a family. Stanley, li Stanley lives by himself in the land grab house. He's got a big mansion all to himself. I might place these sims. Brianna's messy family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Come on down. Get a mansion. I did just save a second ago. Yeah. Don't worry. What's our last name? Asher Hannon. I might put both. Oops. Asher Hannon. I like the little dog. That's cute. Um, okay. What else? We need a couple more houses down here. I mean, I could place, actually, I built a restaurant recently, well, last year, for this world. Oh, here's all kinds of restaurants in my library. There we go. A lot of ones that you all built. But I made um, this one. The Cobble Bottom Street is a restaurant. That could be nice to have. Extra community lot. I like it. That'll be good. Good touch. Okay. Kayla, can I live with Miv? Maggie, why are you all trying to force me to place your sim selves in the world? Think about how many people are here that want me to place their sims in the world. And then you roll up and you're like, no, place me. I already had to deal with Miv spamming. And then my chat being like, Kayla, have you seen Miv's messages? Kayla, have you seen Miv's messages? Yes, I did. And I wasn't reading them on purpose. <laughs> uh, oh, I love that Galaxy Girl. That's pretty cute. That's a fun one. I'm glad I got to place your, your sims. Um, do you know what? Do you want to hear a horrible story? I have, so basically, I have the word engage highlighted on, um, on, like, my BTTV, which is, like, a Twitch extension, um, and you can use it to highlight words if you want to, uh, maybe, like, say something happened, um, and, uh, I want to, like, highlight the word so that I can see it. Like, for example, this one time someone mailed something to my house, like, a real-life person mailed something to my real-life house because I found my address. So I, like, highlighted the word in my chat of the item just in case they came here so I could ban them, you know, if they brought it up. Anyway, um, I have the word engage highlighted still to this day, ever since like two years ago when, um, a person found my Reddit account and then they started harassing me because I, I had posted on like the, like about the K1 visa on Reddit before I had talked about it on, uh, YouTube because I was like asking and answering a question on like an immigration subreddit. Anyway, I hadn't, like, talked about it on YouTube yet after we applied. It was, like, very early on. Well, someone found my secret Reddit account that I don't even really use. Like, I don't really put, like, it literally, I like, commented, like, three times ever. They found it and went into my Discord, started spamming. When was Simsy gonna tell us she's engaged? Like, me, 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 spamming and, like, trying to be, like, guys, did you know? Like, trying to be all weird and, like, tell a secret that wasn't really a secret. It was just so weird, and so I highlighted the word engaged in my chat, because I knew they were going to come, like, after what they had done in the Discord, I was like, they're going to come to the stream tonight, so highlight it so I can ban them when they get here. I never unhighlighted it. This whole time. Been there for two years. So anytime someone says that, I, like, <sighs> anyway, it was so, it was so weird, because I felt like they were trying to, like, 
call me out on something that wasn't even really a secret, you know? Like, I, d I just hadn't really talked about it because I didn't have a lot of news to share yet. And then all of a sudden, they're like trying to catch me out on something and then like invade my privacy and expose me for filing for a K-1 visa. Like, it was just so weird. Um, I, anyway, um, I shouldn't have told you that. Now I have to unhighlight the word because look at this. I'm, <laughs> I'm doomed now that you all know, but anyway, people are weird. People on the internet are weird. Um, shall I place you? Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you can live here. All right, this world's pretty much almost full. Um, we'll get a couple more. Occult squad. Four friends, all occults. What could go wrong? Oh no. I actually like that. I'll place them. I'll place them over here in um, Glimmerbrook because I've got an empty lot in, in Glimmerbrook. I can place them in there. That could be nice. Um, okay. And then back to Henford on Bagley. We're almost good. And then we can start placing some community lots again. Um, I might place these Sims up here. That's a two bedroom house, that'll work. Kids can share a room, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Okay, I need some more like single men. Let me try and look for that. Cause I don't have a lot of men in the save. Um, so we need to get some more. That's another dupe. I placed them already? Did I? Oh, see, I get confused because I don't recognize the last names. I've placed so many Sims. Did I place them? Are you sure? Placed those in uni a few minutes ago? Oh, maybe I did. I've been placing so many that I... Oh yeah, I did place them in university a few minutes ago. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, besties. Um... You have to go. <laughs> Sorry to delete you. Um, but unfortunately, well, maybe I'll get like a, two Sims, two to three Sims. Can I review the Sims I've placed at the end? I mean, there's a lot of them, so I might not be able to get through it, but we can try. Um, let's filter by popular now. That'll be different than what we've been doing, so. I'm pretty sure I placed him already. Um. I placed him already. <laughs> Look, I'm like looking for single men, and I've placed most of them. Um. Maybe, oh, here we go. Coward. I'm sorry, it's not his fault, it's his name. That'll work. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, and we'll try and reload it again. Let's look at four to six sims again. I'm looking for men. Nope, that's not a teen. They're married. <laughs> Never mind. Are you two married? Yeah, they met in college. Okay. Never mind. Um I'm on the hunt for men. <laughs> oh no. And the gallery doesn't load anymore. I scrolled and now look at me. Come on. Okay, I can't scroll further. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not upset by that. I'm really glad. Men! It's like they heard my call. So is that you and then your, your kids? Nice. Okay, that works. <laughs> Perfect. All right, there we go. Well, one more lot, actually. One more lot. Um, we can get a small group of sims. These two, maybe? They've got a cute cat. I like it. Nice. All right. Full. 
Tartosa is last. Um, we'll place some Sims up there. The Lorens are still alive. They still live here. So we're almost done. Um, keep in mind it's a starter home, so it should be kind of small. Husbands and their teenage son. There we go. That's good stuff. Men. Maybe I'll get one more right here. If I'm Glimmerbrook. Uh, I still have one empty lot in Glimmerbrook. I want to place some more, like, lots to visit, though, soon. Um, that's my next step. Bradshaw Gen 5? Shamelessly uploading my beloved Legacy Sims. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You can live here. Sorry to put you in the wedding pack. It's almost worse than Strangerville. I mean, the world's nice, but it's almost worse than Strangerville. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me save the game. So, most of the lots are all set up, it looks like, which is really good. Um, we've got Sims in pretty much every empty house. Um, now I just want to work on getting some more community lots. Like, I finished up Newcrest here. Um, Magnolia Promenade could maybe maybe use some more. Um, oh, Christini, I'm glad. I'm glad that you had fun doing it. It's nice making townies. And honestly, listen, here's a pro tip, truthfully. It's really useful to have, like, a backlog of townies that you have made, like, of your own sims. Um, because you're gonna, like, find such a good use for them, like, when you're trying to fill up worlds. So, like, make some random families, you know, and, and try and, like, save them to your library or to your gallery or whatever. Because then when this happens to you and you're, like, all your sims are dead, because it's ten generations in, or even, like, two generations in, everybody's, everybody's messed up. Um, it's good to have, like, a backlog of your own townies just to throw in. If you like making sims, it's kind of fun to do. And then you've got a bunch, so. Um, okay, cool. It didn't replace. I don't think it's too big. I know it's supposed to be on a bigger lot, but... Um... Will it allow me to fill it up? Barely. Let's try. Almost? That's fine. Oh, I built this before we had platforms. Look at that. That's kind of cute. Well, either way, I'm probably gonna fill all this in, <laughs> so. I'm probably just gonna put a bunch of, um, tile down. This is a pizza restaurant that I built. It's called Papa Simsy's Pizza. Do you like it? I think it's useful. Yeah, pre-platforms was a different world, wasn't it? Look at that. Way better with the platforms, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those flowery- I forget that, I don't care about the back. Those flowery bushes were from, um, Island Living. It's a nice restaurant. I like it. Cool. Isn't Papa John's problematic? Replaced with Papa Simsies. Solved. Saved. Okay. Well, we've got a couple places. I didn't replace this yet, but... Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the... I'm pretty sure that... Papa is the problem. Like, John. Is the problem. Papa John himself. I don't know if he's still involved with the company, but Papa John is an issue. Same thing with Jimmy John. Jimmy John hunts exotic animals. Um, so, not the vibes. Not the vibes. No, I'm not kidding. I wish I was, but I'm not kidding. Yeah, no, the Johns in the food industry? Bad. <laughs> Unicorn? Uh, DK and Moon and Ramon and Lauren and Mary and Dee and Curious Kangaroo and Butt and Lala. Thank you for the subs. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, <laughs> but they're not very good. Um, okay, I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll place, this is a lot that one of you all built for the, um, for the shell challenge. I might put it in Mount Komorebi. It could be good to get some more stuff. Oh, I placed Sims there where it belongs. Oops. They can come here. <laughs> oh no! 
<laughs> oh no. Well, I'm gonna place it down just because it's cute. And it would be nice to have some more options. Where did I go? Where did it go? Here it is. Um, I like it. Place it as a restaurant. We've got a bunch of restaurants placed now. Why did my chat just reload? Now I'm scared. What's going on? We'll do a shell challenge soon, Liv. Um, I owe you all one after our charity stream over the weekend. So we'll do a shell challenge soon. I gotta figure out a day that works though. There's a lot going on. Guys, I'm gonna ask you an honest question. Hang on. This is like a real, a real true honest question that I need your help with. Um, I have to hide the other ban appeals though. Is, listen, is that boobs? Honest question, because if it's not, then they can come back. <laughs> is that boobs? Is that what that's supposed to be? Because they say in their ban appeal, they thought it was just a funny face. And they didn't realize it could be in inappropriate. I think, I feel inclined to believe them. That they didn't realize that it, it could be something else. I think that they, I think that they're being normal and they didn't know. That it could be weird. It, it looks like it's supposed to be a face with a mouth. It's just, it was weird vibes. And usually people with, with weird copy pasta type things like that get banned. I think it's just supposed to be an emoticon. I think it's supposed to not be anything else. I think it's supposed to be a face. And I believe that it's, I believe them. I trust them. So I'll probably unban them. I'm sorry, I just opened it and I was like, hmm, <laughs> why did that person get banned? But usually we sort of like quick to ban um, people that post, obviously that one's not that bad, but we sort of are quick to ban people that post things like that because don't make me, br oh God, here we go down this road again. I'm sorry to bring it up, but Shrek's body parts is always the example I go to because these people put these weird copy pastas with like text symbols to make pictures and a lot of times they're really bad. <laughs> In fact, the vast majority of the time, they're really bad. And so we've been like scarred by that. They try and put Shrek's blooming onion in my chat and we can't have that. So, you know, <laughs> we, just, we just have to be on the lookout is all. Community garden, oh my gosh, that's so cute, Simsy. Oh, let's put that in Oasis Springs. Oh, is Ninja here? Oh no. Not not the Sim Guru. Oh god. <laughs> he said weirdest stream ever. What? Nothing to see here. <laughs> no, well Ninja, um, so I I'm currently like this is the save that I'm playing on for almost eleven generations. And so right now I'm just, cause like all the original townies are dead, you know? Um, we spent like all of today going through and placing a lot of like the viewer's sims off the gallery um, to get like some fresh meat in the save. <laughs> I have no bad intentions, I promise. But anyway, I, we were trying to get some fresh meat in the save off the gallery. I forgot I built this. I like this. Honestly, Susie? I like it. Good job. Anyway, we got some fresh meat in the town, so. <laughs> I need some more people that I can eliminate. My cat is being so dramatic. Oh, she got up. She was laying on the floor with her paw underneath Dan's door trying to get into his room. Being so dramatic. Okay, this looks good. We got some more options in here. Um, Windenburg maybe could get a couple more things, but I'm not sure what. Oh, hello. You come to say hello? Ooh, I renovated the Ward Park. I could place that down. I don't go to Delso Valley very often, but let's place it. Let's place it. Thank you. <laughs> hello, Snap. It's good to see you. <laughs> That's a debug fishing pond, yeah. Um, that is a debug pond. You can, it's like just the fishing ponds that are on the parks, like the base game parks, but you can get it out of debug and it'll work if you place it down, which is kind of useful if you wanted to like throw in a fishing pond on one of your parks. Um, okay. Ward Park, sure. I kind of forget what it used to look like, but looks like that now, so. 
<laughs> is this still live? Yeah, I'm still live. I'll be here for a little bit longer. I'm still trying to fix my save, so. <laughs> Have I taken Snow to see my house yet? Oh no. No, I'm not gonna bring her over there. Um, obviously she'll move in there eventually, but I'm not gonna like put her through that um, until I have more of a good reason to, you know? I, I don't want to, like, force her to to go through a drive like that. And also, there's nothing to see. I mean, there's not even floors, you know? Like, there's not exactly a lot of things for her to see <laughs> in the in the place. This is already placed. I put this in um, the Eco Lifestyle area. So that's good. We have that down. I built this Strangerville Park. I could place that down. But yeah, it's, I, I, I wouldn't put her through a drive like that just for no reason. And uh, just going to the new place is really stressful. Cats don't really vibe with that kind of thing, so that'll be a one and done kind of trip for her. Um, that would be horrible. She would not like it. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no reason for her to go through that. Um, I feel like people maybe do that with dogs more often. Dogs are kind of more receptive to that kind of thing a lot of the time, but cats are not, are not. <laughs> she didn't like change, so um, I, I won't put her through it. So, isn't that right, Snappy? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else should we do? I mean, I guess we already have that Pupperstone Park in Brindleton Bay. I'm kind of wondering if I should pick a new park for Newcrest or like some sort of new lot because... Oh, is this a different one? Is the Peppy Puppy Play Park different than Pupperstone Park? Does Pupperstone Park come in the pack? And is this one a different one? We have a bowling alley. I did place one of those, gamer. Because if it's a separate dog park, that might be nice. Oh, it is different. Oh, okay, that's easy then. I sort of thought it was the same one for some reason. You know how, like, there's some of the base game lots are in your library? Oh, this is different. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. I like the idea of a dog park being in Newcrest. That'll be useful. It'll give me more of a reason to come to the dog park because I don't really do that very much. So we've got two restaurants. We have the library I built, the museum that I built, the dog park. That'll be really good. Okay. Okay. I like it. Say Peppy Pupperstone Park five times fast. I know. <laughs> I know. That's wild. Um, okay, well, things are doing pretty good. We've got a cafe, I've got a spa, we have the pool, loads of households. Um, yeah. I'm feeling good about this. Let me make sure I, like, mark all of the rest of these sims as unplayed. So that I don't get them confused with my own sims. The title says pots? Yeah, bestie, I'm playing with the pots save. <laughs> See? Pots. Um, I've been, uh, redoing the whole save file, trying to make sure everything's set up so that when we start the next generation, we won't be empty anymore. Because you know how we were sort of lacking when it comes to sims and community lots and stuff? I redid everything. We placed, uh, new households in every single thing. Um, there is a single toddler. I don't know how he's alone. The game has let him be alone. Honestly, Ninja, this is wrong. But the game has just left that toddler by themselves, so I left them there too. They live in a mansion in San Mayshino. They've got like a really big, look. <laughs> They're in the chef's kitchen lot all by themselves. I don't know, it's kind of funny. There was actually a toddler that was alone and a child that was alone, but I deleted the child. I deleted all of the like pre-generated households and I placed all households that you all made. Um, so hopefully we've got a bunch more options here. This should be good. Um, I was gonna delete them. That's a random generated sim. And they don't have a house. But yeah, we, I deleted all of the households that were, like, random generated, and I just placed a bunch that you made off the gallery, so that way we could have, hopefully, some more. Um, I don't want them to move out. I'd rather them stay in their places, because I'm gonna get confused if they move out. But, um, I think Sims should be allowed to... Honestly, what if we have no Sims move into unoccupied lots? Because that way, I, if, if lots become unoccupied, I'll notice sooner. But they can still die in accidents, they can adopt kids, have kids, get pets, leave jobs, retire, join jobs. I think that's fine. I think that'll be good. 
Okay, well, maybe last, um, these sims are cousins of my current sim, so maybe I could give them a little, a little look. Um, you know, if I gave her, like, honestly, even just a new styled look or something. These pants are kind of cool. I sort of like the red. Can we get something that matches it better? You know, like, we've got options. I kind of like how the red-orange flower ties in with those. I kind of like it. That could be good. Get some little shoes. Maybe some sandals with wedges could be good. I like that. Yeah, you're cool. Do you want to get like some red nails to match? <gasps> Fun. Okay, maybe you can keep the hair. I kind of like it. Maybe I'll give you like a slight bit of makeup. Just add to it a little bit, you know? Um, fashion queen, I know. <laughs> yeah, you know me, fashion queen. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not me. I'm, I'm not quite the most fashionable person I know, but hey, maybe this sim is. But yeah, Rachel here is cousins with uh, my sim. I think Rachel was Goopy's niece. Remember Goopy? Um, not Goofy, sorry, Goopy, before he died. I'm pretty sure Rachel was his niece, so. Um, she could be fun for my sim to befriend, because they're related. It'll be nice. Yeah, the toddler should get adopted. I'm pretty sure the game will, like, adopt out that toddler that lives alone, so it should be fine. I'm not that worried about the toddler. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's fine, too. The polka dot gloves and the eyeball ring is such a combo. <laughs> you liked my outfit for South by Southwest? Thank you. I was so nervous. I won't lie to you. The clothing situation at South by Southwest, I was so nervous about because I didn't know what the other people on my panel were going to wear. Okay, let's, let me complain about this. Basically, I did a panel with the CEO of St. Jude automatically I'm like, the man's gonna wear a suit. And he did. So I was like, okay, Mr. St. Jude's gonna be in a suit. Like, will absolutely 100% be in a suit. But Matt Pat and the Tiltify guy, I don't know about, I didn't know the Tiltify CEO, Michael, before this. So I didn't know if he was gonna wear anything super fancy or not. I'm not really sure. He wore like a long sleeve t-shirt. Matt Pat had like a jacket on, like a, a, a nice, but not like a suit jacket, just like a nice jacket. And so I was like, one, only girl on the panel. So I wanna, I wanna like match what they're wearing, but also like, what are they gonna wear? <laughs> so I wore a nice shirt. I thought it looked cute, but I was really nervous about that. I was like, I don't really know. Um, I don't really know like what to, <laughs> to wear. Like I wasn't sure how I was gonna fit in. Um, I can show you though. Let me pull up my Instagram. I'll show you what I wore. And I think it was good. Um, but I, I was really nervous about it because I wasn't sure what they were gonna be in, so. <laughs> Okay, here's my Instagram. Here's what I wore. I thought I looked nice. There's me. There's everybody else. I think it was fine. I think that that was fine. Blended in just fine, you know? Um, but I, I think I looked okay. So <laughs> I was really nervous about it though. Cause I was like, I don't know what they're gonna wear. Like, I don't want to look like I'm underdressed. That would be so embarrassing. But I wasn't, so it was okay. Reasonable concern though, I think. Um, but it, it ended up being all right. Ooh, I love this outfit. Let's wear this. That could be cute. I didn't notice her sparkly leggings. Bestie, you can't wear those. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to wear those. <laughs> I simply can't, I can't put up with that. I'm sorry, but no. I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed, Fumbelina, I think. Um, especially in a thing like that. Like, if everybody else is wearing suits, it would have been really embarrassing, you know? Um, I feel like it's always better to be overdressed. I guess it depends what the situation is, but in a thing like that, I'd rather, I would rather be overdressed than underdressed. Um, yeah, her leggings were a choice. The <laughs> sim wearing those leggings, I don't know if I would have done that, but eh, you know, if you like it, that's fine. What are you all complaining about Tori doing? Did Tori say a bad word? Is that why you cleared the chat? Oh no. 
Oh, I, I didn't even see that. Tori did say a bad word. <laughs> I checked the chat history. <laughs> That's funny. Don't do that, Tori. Bad. Ooh, cute combo. Like it. Get some sandals, maybe. Honestly, do you want to just wear this? Like, literally anything will do. You'll, you'll blend in just fine with the rest of the town, Rachel. It'll be okay. And I don't really need to give you an outfit because you're going to die soon. So, should be fine. Am I going to do Salvador Dorada? No, because it's a, it's a vacation world. I don't need to do that. I don't think at least. Um, okay. So, we should be all set. The one thing is, um, I, I evicted my own family. Luckily, there's a couple lots that are open. There's one in Del Sol Valley I can put them in. You can live out here. And there's also, oops, I believe one in uh, Bloomer Brook that we can put in. There you go. Perfect. I probably should have swapped those <laughs> who was in which, but that's fine. As long as they've got a spot, you know, we should be okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like the world is kind of fixed. I, I feel like we've got new lots placed. All the houses are in there. Um, I live back here. I know it's hard to see, but my house is there. So now everything is kind of set up. Um, we should be off to a better start when we actually play with Not So Berry. And we've got loads of like teens and stuff. Oh, I, I kind of did the vampires world. I didn't, I placed a couple households. Um, I wonder if there's like a vampire, we could place a graveyard, just a decorative one. I won't use it, but we could place a graveyard. I could place my own graveyard. <laughs> just to have something else. Um, pleasant Rest Graveyard. I don't know. Oh, my Haunted Barn is better. Oh, that's- wait, never mind. I'll swap it out. The Haunted Barn I did is way better. Never mind. Never mind. Did the whole chat clear? Yeah, because my mod said a bad word, so Shan cleared it. <laughs> you didn't have to. By the way, if you didn't know, honestly, that's a good mod tool. Um, those of you that stream, um, if you ever have an issue with, like, maybe you get hate rated, if I could offer any piece of advice, um, when that happens, a lot of times you might have, like, a bunch of bots, like, spamming slurs in your chat, and it's really scary. Um, pro tip, sub only mode so they can't type anymore, and then clear chat. Because you, you can, like, delete things instantly, or you can, like, type, um, slash clear, and that will cheer the, that will clear the chat history for all viewers, so it'll get rid of all those things. Um, but if that ever happens to you, um, like, make it so they can't type anymore, like, honestly, if it helps, emote only mode just for a second so the bots can stop typing, um, or, you know, sub only or whatever, um, maybe put on, like, a long follower only, like, a week long follower only, and then clear the chat, because then it'll all, it'll delete it all at once, so you don't need to go through and delete it yourselves. And if your mods have a Twitch extension called, um, it's called BTTV, like Better Twitch TV. Um, you can still see the chat even when it's been cleared. So then they can go through, if the mods have that, they can go through, they can still see the clear chat and they can like report the accounts. Um, I know it's a nightmare, but that, uh, if you didn't know that clear chat thing existed and you stream, that is a useful thing to do in case anything bad like that happens. Cause then you can get rid of it all at once. Um, I'm sorry to have to like prepare you for that, but it's a genuine concern if that kind of thing ever happens. Um, that is a, hopefully some helpful advice. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we've all, we've all been there, so. <laughs> oh, pumpkin patch pub. I forgot I built this. That's a cute one. That's, this is different though. It's not for this lot type. Um, I wanted my haunted barn. Has it happened to me? Yeah, unfortunately it has. Um, so it's, it's good to be prepared for those kind of things. It's really scary. That's the thing about it, um, is that it's really scary, and, like, when that kind of thing is happening, like, you really don't want to, um, acknowledge it, right? Because you don't want to give, like, the person who's doing it, like, the attention they're wanting. But, God, it's so scary when, like, your whole chat is all of a sudden these horrible things, and I, I really feel for any of you who've been dealing with it a lot more often than I have. Um, like, it's happened to me, but, like, it happens to some people so much more often, so. Um, if we could do anything to help you control that, I will gladly offer some advice if I can, um, because it is really scary. Haunted Harvest Nightclub. 
cool. I built this years ago, literally years ago, but it's supposed to be like a haunted barn that's been taken over. It's kind of fun. Um, there was an issue with some hate raiding recently. Most of the time when those hate raids are happening, it's bots, like people will make a bunch of bots and send them out to people. But um, recently there was an issue that a lot of people were dealing with where this individual on like an alt-right streaming platform, like it was like a small stream platform that was like literally just like horrible nightmare people like him. And he was streaming and then picking out streamers and sending his real life viewers to make accounts and go harass them. It was a disaster. That only happened like last week. Mm. And that's harder to stop because they're people, not bots. Um, but if any of you need help, like, setting up your stream better to help, like, have, I don't know, mod settings in place and, like, honestly, advice in case that ever happens, you can feel free to ask. We can try and, we can try and help you out because we're all in this together. So I'm really sorry if that happened to you or if you know someone that happened to. Um, it's scary. So, um, anyway, people suck, shockingly. <laughs> Horrible. Um, but anyway, what a loser. Seriously, imagine spending your time watching a stream like that. How like pitiful is your life that that's how you're spending your like Friday night? Really? Really? Like you, top tier loser right there, but whatever. Um, Anyway, <laughs> that's good advice too, Riff. Um, if you ever want to see the name of the mods, if you type forward slash mods, uh, it'll show the list of all the mods in a channel. Only you will see it too, so they won't know that you did that. Um, only you will see that you did that. You can just type forward slash mods to the mods. Obviously in my chat, a lot of the mods aren't like mods. <laughs> you know, for example, if I were you and you had a mod question, I, I probably wouldn't DM like Mama Simsy. Um, I don't think she'll get back to you very fast. But <laughs> the other mods, you can look there and you can see it. You can also, if you check the viewer list, you can see the mods that are in the stream, in the viewer list. Um, they'll show you the mods at the top so you can see who are active mods at the time. Um, yeah, I modded Concerned Ape. He doesn't know that. He's never been here. But I wanted to be prepared in case he ever came, so I modded him. Concerned Ape, the guy who made Stardew Valley. He doesn't mod. I just, I was, you know, in case he ever showed up, I wanted to be ready, so I modded him. <laughs> It was a joke. It was just a joke, but I, that's why I did that. Um, it was just a meme. <laughs> but I trust him. I, I don't think he'd do anything bad in my chat, so. <laughs> Mia, Mox, and Maddie, and Sora, and Aaliyah, and, and Dej, and Shari, and Paper, and Nancy, thank you for the steps and stuff. If Concerned Ape showed up and banned me, I would be honored. Exactly. You know what? If he wanted to, he'd come here, he could ban my whole chat. I wouldn't be mad. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> Actually, yeah, uh, uh, Alastair, no, I'm gonna stream Stardew on Sunday morning. Um, I wasn't planning on streaming on Sunday morning, but then I was like, you know what, maybe I'll do a little morning Stardew Valley stream. <laughs> so I'm gonna play Stardew on Sunday morning. Um, maybe Concerned April show up. <laughs> but that's my plan. Um, Sunday morning we're gonna play Stardew. I'm gonna put it in the Discord because I can't edit a stupid message! It's so annoying. Look, here's my stream schedule. Usually I post it, but I posted this from from the convention and I didn't bring my laptop. I only had Dan's laptop. And so I did it from his laptop and like log into his account. Cause I couldn't be bothered to log out and log back into mine. So I just did it on his, but now I can't edit the message. So I can't add to it. I'm gonna probably delete it and repost it. But um, that's why I haven't edited it yet because I can't post it. Cause I posted it as Dan, but me. I could just get his dumb laptop out and do it again too. But usually I post it on my account so I can do it. But anyway. <laughs> Go steal his laptop again! I know, I should. Well, this was fun. I'm glad we got the save all fixed up. It's gonna be nice to have more sims in the world. And we're also gonna have a lot, a lot <laughs> of hopefully fun story progression things happening, because now that, um, now that, like, we've placed all these new sims, hopefully the game and the story progression is gonna make them do stuff. So that should be a fun thing. Um, hopefully it'll causes some problems. I had my first Sims die with it today. Uh, I made a video playing Rags to Riches with Stanley Humphrey again, you know, as one does. And um, three Sims died in a heat wave. And it made me wonder, like, there was actually a heat wave happening. Like, there was literally a heat wave. Like, the weather was really bad, it was hot. And then three Sims died, like, of overheating. So it makes me wonder if that's, like, more common when there's bad weather. I haven't played with it in winter yet, so I'm not sure if Sims will, like, freeze more often. But I'm, if there's, like, a blizzard, are they gonna freeze? 
Because that would be cool. I mean, it might have been a coincidence, but it was all three of them died of overheating. All three. Um, so if weather actually impacts it, that would be really interesting. But it, it all happened on the day of a heat wave, and they all overheated. So maybe weird coincidence, but maybe it's related. So we'll see. But um, it was pretty cool. No, it wasn't in one notification. It was like, well, it was two in one day and then one the next day. Um, and it was all separate notifications that they died. So Katrina Caliente died. <laughs> May she rest in peace. <laughs> um, but that happened to you too? That's a, good, that's a good sign then. That's pretty cool. I like how weather affects it. A sim freeze in your game and it was cold? I love that. If that really is how it works. I mean, that makes sense that it's how it works, but um, that's fun. I'm excited about that. Judith Ward died in the first week. Nah, she deserved it. She deserved it. I'm glad she's gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad she's gone. Anyway, this has been fun. So thank you for watching. Um, obviously, we're going to play Not So Berry. Uh, so my sim, let me po pop into the household so I can show you. Um, but this is my Potts family. I've been playing with these Sims for like literally 10 generations. If you're new to the stream, um, it, now's a good time to start watching, honestly, because we're just starting a new challenge. But um, we're on Gen 11 now. The Gen 11 Sim is a teen, and she's going to be the Not So Berry founder. So we're going to like start Gen 1 of Not So Berry on Gen 11 of my legacy, if that makes sense. So like Gen 12 is Gen 2, Gen thir 13 is Gen 3, you know. Um, and so we're going to do another 10 generation legacy, but with the not so berry challenge, basically same family, same silly stuff, just with rules this time. Um, we're going to play on regular lifespan instead of short lifespan, but this is the sim. This is my not so berry sim. Um, her name is Flossie and she's going to be the heir <laughs> and we will play with her. Uh, I guess, I mean, now that she's a teen, we can kind of like properly start doing her, her generation. Right. So, um, it should be fun, but <laughs> Anyway, she's cute, and I can put the rules in the chat for you um, if you want to see them. And you can also just Google Not So Berry, it'll pop up. Um, I wrote the challenge like five years ago, but it, it, a lot of people have done it, so the rules pop up really fast, and you just type in Not So Berry. Um, but that's how you get there. Oh yeah, she's sad because her dad died. Her dad died of old age, so she's not doing so good. <laughs> um, because she's a team, we're kind of starting. So we're going to play with the Potts family next on Tuesday, I think, as far as the rest of the week's stream schedule goes. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, we're, we're gonna villager hunt and animal crossing. I posted the stuff about bingo in the discord this morning already. So if you want to play bingo, discord has information. I can put the discord link in the chat for you too. Um, and then I'm probably gonna hunt for a while tomorrow, like from like noon onward and see if I could find Tangy. I promise I would hunt for Tangy without stopping, um, after my charity stream. So that starts tomorrow. <laughs> um, I said I would and I will. So we're going to start that tomorrow. Um, not like all in a row. I'm not going to like only stream Animal Crossing, but when I stream Animal Crossing, we're going to hunt until I get tangy. So that's what we're up to tomorrow, starting that. And then on Sunday morning, bonus stream, I'm going to play uh, some Stardew Valley. Monday is when the new kit comes out. So we're going to play with the new build kit and probably build a house or something. And then on Monday night, like later on, I need to figure out the exact time again, but on Monday night, we're gonna play uh, Sims multiplayer, the multiplayer mod with some friends. Um, basically, uh, Deli, Gluon, James, uh, Sasha, and Zeus and I are all gonna play with the Sims multiplayer mod. I've never used it, um, but we've kind of got uh, a group here. <laughs> we're gonna try and play with the multiplayer mod that night. So that should be fun. Um, I'll give you the exact time soon. I just need to check on it again. That's on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we'll play with the pods again. So we've got some kind of fun things planned for the next few days. So it should be fun. Yeah, there's a Sims multiplayer thing. I've never used it. I don't know how well it works, but we're going to try it out. So it should be a fun one to attempt. Um, and I'll be live at noon Eastern time tomorrow. So I will catch you all then. That's pretty soon. <laughs> oh, and keep in mind, keep in mind, um, Eastern time might be different than it used to be because the U.S. changed our clocks last weekend on Sunday. So we went, our clocks went forward. Your clocks might not have gone forward yet. So we might have like a less time difference. So I might be going live earlier than normal. I mean, you would have noticed today probably. Um, I usually get off at this time. So if it's earlier than normal, that's why, because our clocks changed. I know like in Europe, uh, your clocks are changing, I think next week. So there's like a weird period where it's different, but you can use a time zone converter to check that if you want to. Just remember that I'm in Eastern time. I'm in Florida. So if that helps, you can just look up Florida time and try and figure it out that way. Um, 
Anyway, <laughs> that's why the time might be different. It's really weird every time this happens because everyone changes their clocks at different times or like doesn't change their clocks and it's it all gets so confusing, but that's why that is. Um, and I think I'm gonna go probably find someone to raid. Happy Friday night, by the way, everybody. It's been a lot of fun today. I'm glad we got to do this. Um, and I will catch you all tomorrow, obviously. Um, that should be fun. Ben and No Thoughts and Audrey and Emma and Ray and Madison and Sour and another Emma and Nina and Heather and Mia and Moxes and Maddie and Sora. Thank you all for those subs. Um, and I think maybe we could pop in. Oh, you know what? My friend Bloody is playing Minecraft. Do you want to go over there and say hi to her? That could be fun. Oh, I like the idea. Okay, cool. Let's go raid Bloody then. Um, it looks like she's on her new SMP or something too, which could be cool. Oh, it's followers up only. Wait, let me check before I, um, before I uh, send you there. I don't want to send you a sub only stream just in case. I always worry about that. Um, I always worry like uh, just in case like something happened and someone got like some bad bots in their chat that day. I like always feel bad if I um, send things to people. I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know. Well, I can type, so it must be follower only. <laughs> All right, Bloody, it's fine. Um, you might know Bloody already because me and Bloody did a, I was on her charity stream for the, um, for Trans Lifeline a few months ago. We played Among Us together, um, but she had COVID at the time, so she was like barely speaking, but she was still streaming because Twitch was gonna match donations, so she could, she was like, I feel bad not streaming, so she still streamed, but she was so sick. That's Bloody. <laughs> um, that's the same person. So if you remember her, she's not sick anymore. So this could be, this will be good. <laughs> we can go, we can go see her at her best instead, you know? Um, but if you, if you watch that stream, that's the same person. That's the same person. Um, so you might already know her. Anyway, go say hi for me. Uh, have a wonderful evening. Happy Friday. And with that, I guess I will catch you all tomorrow, okay? Don't spam too much or anything. Just say hi. Just pop in and say hi. Um, but I'll catch you all later. And it's your birthday. Oh my goodness. Be happy birthday. Have a, have the best night. Um, but anyway. Happy birthday. Have a good day, all of you. Happy Friday. I don't know. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. I'm just trying to like round out the stream. Whatever. Have have the best day and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay. I love you. I miss you. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> and stop streaming.